Now, if you're looking at the screen and you're like, damn, what is all this crap all over the screen? That is what you really came here for tonight. Tonight is a maximalism stream of epic proportions. We are going to be reviewing the debate between former uh, Caleb Maupin associate, uh, Yankee Tanky, and uh, a little known streamer by the name of Vosh, who somehow manages to find the most interesting debates sometimes. So, um, yeah. If you donate tonight, you can have your GIF up on the screen. This becomes a canvas of love and fun and memes uh, that is fueled by none other than you. That's right, my lovely, lovely imps. So without any further ado, let's settle in and let's have a good ass time, okay? Yeah? I have not seen, oh yeah, for the record, I have not seen this debate. I have seen nothing from this debate. I know, I do not know what to expect. I do not know anything of the sort. I have seen zero spoilers, uh, which means you get to be here with me j uh, fresh like a baby. I think he had left the cult like a few weeks prior. Yeah, in fact, I believe we actually read some of his testimony um, and that really sucks. It really sucks to be involved in that, but I have no idea what to expect from this. So I don't know if it's like they rag on Moppin. I don't know if they, how much they fight. I don't know fucking anything, okay? Let's find out, okay? He was the guy that sold his car? Okay, all right then. Well, let's fucking do this. Howdy, how are you doing? Um, hello. Uh, first of all, sorry about the whole cult thing. Um, that, that really sucks. That's not good. You, uh, you indicated an interest in, um, in, in arguing with me, uh, on Twitter, which is a fine and respectable thing. What did you want to disagree about? Well, hmm. I want to disagree with one particular thing, uh, okay? So, it's one thing to say that Caleb Maupin was this individual that did terrible things, that was trying to build a cult, that was a sex pest. These things are all true. However... Notice that he's wedged between an alley? Is that what that is? That is definitely a unique streaming location. Oh, no, he's homeless? Oh, no. Oh, guys. Is this gonna be, am I not gonna be able to laugh at this? He, he's squatting in an abandoned house. Oh, 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 you, oh, I didn't know this was gonna be unethical. What is not true is this idea, this concept that the ideology that we espouse. Uh oh no. Okay, so this is one of the things that tankies always get mad at, okay? I, I knew it, I had, uh, I had a feeling that this was where it was gonna go right off the bat, which is, well, yeah, my organization was a horrendous exploitative cult that literally in employed slave labor, but not all Marxist-Leninists cults are like that, and it's just weird because it turns out that basically every single fucking Marxist Leninist org out there ends up going this way. It's fun. I talked about this in my stream where in my drama mama, where we went over all of the drama with the, uh, the Caleb Mop and cult, um, which again is generous to call it a cult. It's, it's more just like a shittily run business that employed fucking volunteer slave labor. Um, but, uh, Oh, God. So this person demanded that it be a, a debate. Okay. All right. Well, all right. I'm going to withhold judgment. But anyway, MLs love to say, well, yeah, no, this one was a cult and that one was a cult. But I promise you, our ideology, which, which literally worships historical figures that puts them on a pedestal and treats their, their writings like doctrine and not like uh, like something to learn and grow from. They're treated exactly like doctrine. You wonder why that becomes cult-like. Of course it applies to Marxist-Leninist governments. Remember, Marxism-Leninism is a rebranding of... Uh, okay, that's not fair to say. Marxism-Leninism and Stalinism are the same thing. Stalin was the one who wrote Marxist 
who, who invented Marxism-Leninism. That was his ideology that he took by basically picking and choosing various things from Marx and Lenin and smacking them together. And then he said, yes, I invented Marxism-Leninism and here's how it's going to go. So Marx had nothing to do with Le Marxism-Leninism. Lenin had nothing to do with Marxism-Leninism. It was, it was Stalin who came up with that. And we all know, well, I don't think I need to go into a whole thing about Stalin and the, the enormous... Uh, uh, continent-wide, uh, extremely violent and oppressive personality cult that he made. Yeah. Let's continue. Uh, those who used to be former members of the Center for Political Innovation, that our ideology would automatically become some sort of cult. And that's what I'm here to debate today. Um, yeah. Okay, so just to clarify my position, I don't think that it automatically um, produces a cult. But I do think, like, ideologically, you guys are authoritarian. Um, and you're authoritarian in a way that kind of requires sort of like, um, like an anti-empiricist perspective. That is to say, like, your, your perspective involves, like, ignoring reality. So I think that, the, like, the, the puzzle pieces are already set into place for, um, for wacky behavior like that to take place, um, which, is, which is probably not good. I disagree entirely. I think that our ideology, our ideology has lifted millions of people across the world out of poverty. I believe our ideology actually uh, advanced forward human progress is one of the main reasons why FDR was able to pass a new deal because he wasn't able to do that without being pressured by the CPUSA, the SPA. Okay, so uh, immediately I need to say something, okay? I know that I'm gonna be pause andying a lot, and I know that we're gonna be mostly having fun with this silly thing, and I'm not gonna be like, you know, being, you know, I'm not gonna to be too much of a pause andy, but guys, the the term uh, lifted millions of people out of poverty is like the biggest weasel bullshit that you can possibly imagine. You wanna know who else uses that argument? Capitalists, straight up. Neoliberals love to talk about how they raised people up out of poverty, but it's never that simple. Industrialization is not like a purely positive, uh, is not a purely positive thing. Uh, people who are l lifted out of poverty are often simply given their, they go from not having a wage to having a wage versus actually being any wealthier or better off. Just because you go from not having any wage at all and working on a farm where you're able to provide food for yourself or whatever uh, to having a dollar a day of income, but you now live in like a slum, that is not necessarily an improvement. It's a giant uh, misleading statement because there's so many ways that you can define lifting out of poverty that there's no possible way that you can actually like uh, meaningfully substantiate what that's supposed to mean. It's a very, very sneaky way of making your group sound good when the reality is that the way that like, for example, the way that Stalin lifted people out of po poverty was in many cases by devastating the already existing economies uh, and in, in the name of advancing advancing essentially state capitalism in the name of advancing the productive forces. It's a very misleading uh, thing to say. It's extremely misleading. Anyway, let's continue. And trade unionists that were in coalition to force FDR to actually represent the working class. I don't think the welfare state of Europe would have existed if it were not for existing communist uh, uh, states like the Soviet Union. And further, you know, uh, there wouldn't have been uh, the successes of the Soviet Union with the space race, uh, with advancements of cell phone technology and other things uh, if it were not for our ideology. Yeah, so the problem, you've already demonstrated it, is ideological incoherence. You basically just rope together everything that you think looks good and, like, determine yep. them to be a part of your ideology. Yep, 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 um, yep, 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 yep. The, the lifted millions out of poverty you're referring to, I assume you're referring to Dengism, is a liberal reformist revisionist ideology. The labor Fucking accurate! That's literally what I was just talking about. This is why liberals use the exact same, uh, the exact same talking point. It is the the millions out of poverty is you is like like I said it's not just used by dengists by the way that's a little bit uh, that's that's you know slightly incorrect but it is mostly used by dengists and dengist was a capitalist he reformed the government of China 
to a more capitalist position, which of course, even though in every single way it is more capitalist, the, the, the defenders of, of, the, of the Chinese government will essentially say, well, no, it's still controlled by the state, so that's still communism. The dictatorship of the proletariat still has control. But the dictatorship of the proletariat now looks more and more identical to the sort of oligarchy we see in places like Russia and the United States. Unionists and um, people who pressured FDR were largely anarchists and um, working class true. socialists. In America. That's literally the true. People in the USSR were Marxist Leninists, aka Stalinists, aka fascists. So the, the, the problem is like, like it, I don't think you really believe anything outside of a kind of generalized anti American hegemony, um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing to believe in on its own, but um, it's not enough, you know? I disagree. I see that if it were not for the ideology that we pushed as MLs, uh, we would not have had most of the positive things that workers have experienced across the world. Uh, quite frankly, you know, uh, it was always the communists, it was always the Marxist Leninists who actually pushed for these things first. But I don't think, think you're a the, communist. The civil rights mo uh, movement uh, only existed because communists were on the ground first before that anyone is... else. But... Oh, isn't that interesting? This is another thing that I really hate that tankies love to do. Tankies fucking love to steal credit for other people's things. Oh, the civil rights wouldn't have gotten anywhere if it wasn't for us fucking tankies. Definitely. It was definitely us who did it. Me, I'm, I'm a fucking white person in 2022. It was the tankies who made that happen. And while it is true that there were Marxist, uh, uh, there were mar Marxist um, groups of all types, and yes, socialism and communism was a huge part of the civil rights movement. It's literally, it's, it's, it's so disingenuous to claim that specifically it was Marxist Leninists that made that happen. It's not, that wasn't even close. These were separate, uh, movements that may have pulled some inspiration from certain it, it's a it's a hyper simplification that ends up becoming a lie by means of of absurd oversimplification it's fucking ridiculous anyway let's continue i don't think you're a communist you, like you're claiming ideologies i don't think you're a part of Marxism is communism i'm sorry marxist leninism is communism even if I believe that, which I don't, you're still laying claim to ideologies that aren't Marxist-Leninism. Like, Dengism is not Marx. Okay, we need to back right up. because Okay, let's let's not talk about labels here, because, like, again, this is, like, cold brain shit. Um, we need to talk about, like, shit. actual ideological beliefs. So, the last, like, the last event that was put on by Mopin's little shindig before it fell apart was one in which the... Um, the, what was it? The, like, Soviet and U.S. flag were held together at a two-minute salute before bringing out the Z, the symbol of the Russian um, uh, invasion of Ukraine. So, mm -hmm. it's, it's, so the last event held was a pro-fascist event, um, which does little to inspire the, um, the, the communist associations. I also haven't seen any, like, actual communist positions from any of you guys. Like, you never talk about class, or Marxism for that matter. You usually just defend modern states that have red in their flags. True! That is another th that is exactly what tankies do. Tankies spend all their time doing apologia for China, doing apologia for Russia, which isn't even a communist country anymore, doing apologia for um, extremely, extremely questionable uh, people, uh, like fucking, uh, like, like fucking the not the Nazbol Strasserite people. It's fucking, it's, it's so stupid. They spend all their time doing that and they spend very little time actually analyzing meaningful oppression. And that's why the re that's part of the reason why the ML analysis is so bankrupt because they always put a party organization before uh, the actual struggles that are happening. Like, how do you square the fact that there is such horrific repression of innocent people under Marxist-Leninist regimes or ostensibly Marxist-Leninist regimes uh, the, and I mean, when I'm talking about repression, I'm not talking about their like 
only fighting conservatives or reactionaries. They find a way to define students, like student protests that are protesting against mistreatment, against being surveilled as as a repress as like fighting anti-communism it's absurd this is a this is a very typical uh uh uh, uh usurpation of of aesthetics a usurpation of ideas in order to justify state power it is a very very straightforward sleight of hand um which gets a bit confusing especially when the modern russia and modern china have engaged in like respective de-sovietification and de like maoification with china on policy undoing the cultural revolution and redeifying its old imperial leaders so it's like what do you guys actually believe in apart from countries that aren't american because it it seems like it's totally inconsistent it's just whatever whatever like big military hegemon isn't america you guys like them more than any Scientific socialism explains that over a time, our understanding of material condition changes. So this idea as if China, modern China, uh, thanks to the, re the market reforms that Deng did, for example, uh, would not be Marxist-Leninist, would fly in the face of literally the books that both Deng and Zhao Ping have written. Okay. What about Marx? So, Karl Marx was the beginning of at least scientific socialism, right? Lenin was an extension of, of Karl Marx, and then you would argue for the case of China, Deng and Xi Jinping were exp uh, expansions on both Lenin and uh, Karl Marx. Yeah, more like contradictions of. I don't think Marx would have approved of, you know, let's liberate, uh, let's liberalize our economy and introduce members of the billionaire bourgeois class into the uh, the vanguard party of the season. It's directly into the governance. That's one of the things that's so that's so hard. I mean, remember, even in the last one, we watched Caleb Maupin, the person who led the group that this guy was that was this guy was mistreated by, uh, that that um, we listened to him talk extensively defending the idea of of communist billionaires that, yes, there should be billionaires. But like we acknowledge that like billionaires represent a level of wealth hoarding that is incompatible with caring for the planet. A billionaire. Yeah, the people's billionaire. It's so fucked up. It's such a fucking stupid way of thinking about things. It's basically just saying, well, because there's a lineage. Again, this is this this is the religious aspect of Marxist Leninism. The like, it's not actually it's it's pseudo religious, but it is uh, it is religious. They have a dogma, and that dogma claims that their current prophets, aka the leaders of these large nations, are fully justified that they inherit a legacy of be of correctness and it's a very uh difficult way it's very christian like in a lot of ways but it's very difficult to penetrate and it's very difficult to like get somebody to to think about it when they're in that brain space when they're basically just like no you know morality shifts over time based on the evolution of the party it's very fanatical dp that seems to me somewhat antithetical. I thought the point of a vanguard party was to represent the interests of the proletariat. How can you possibly do that if it's made up mostly of um, members of the bourgeois? Same with Russia, you, by the way. If you don't understand how it is important to actually get the wealth extracted from the global south, or <laughs> extracted from the global south back into countries like China, for example, right? You, you would understand that socialism would not be able to be implemented properly. This is part of the problem that had existed in the culture. This is a really interesting thing that they do, okay? This is another interesting thing that Marxist-Leninists fucking love to do. They love to say, oh, well, China is just reappropriating the wealth that was stolen from the global south. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? How curious that it was appropriated from millions and millions of people from all over the globe, but one country gets to be the one that reappropriates it? Uh, one country gets to be the one that decides who gets to becomes the new emperor. That's not fixing anything. Making an emperor that existed to a country that experienced uh, colonialism, making them into the new emperor that then replicates the exact same things is not the answer. That's not communism. It, ne it not by any definition. So it's so ridiculous. Gift. What an incredible gift. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. I'm going to get this gift right on there. Thank you very much. All right. Let's continue this.
Revolution. Oh, by the way, if you are here, my lovely imps, if you are here, please throw some likes on the YouTube video. There are about 400 of you watching right now, and I'm very happy to have you. Please throw some likes on the YouTube video, and if you want to have a GIF up on the screen, just make sure you get me an actual GIF. Get me an, an actual GIF. And then as long as as long as it's an actual GIF and it's in your donation, I will put it up on the screen and you can help make the mad tapestry that we're looking forward to. Uh, I think it did. I think it did, Jessica Metal. I was pretty sure I got it on there. What's a GIF? A GIF is like an animation. It's like an image, you know? It's one of those things. It's like, uh, you know, it moves around. It's kind of... It's kind of cool and cute, you know? It's like a little thing that moves around and, and you know, that kind of thing. It does, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. It moves and, you know, whatever. You know, you know, whatever. Oh, here's the spider. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Let's get back in here. Let's do this. ...was they were not organized based on material conditions. They thought they could change so, uh, society through culture instead of material conditions. So the expansion of, uh, of industrial growth under China uh, with Deng, uh, Deng and uh, Xi Jinping, the, the whole reason that they were able to accomplish what they were accomplishing was because they were stealing back the capital uh, that was stolen from them initially from the West. So again, this is- Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, they're not stealing it back that was stolen from them. They are simply building a new empire that happens to exist in a country that also had wrongs done against it. I'm not saying that bad things ever, like never happened to China, obviously. And obviously people deserve to be, uh, uh, you, know, you know, entire countries of people, entire peoples can be traumatized by the horrible shit that happens and they can and do have a right to seek out, uh, uh, you know, to correct that, but that doesn't justify building an empire and then subjugating other people. And you can't make the argument that China hasn't subjugated other people. They have the they have the largest military in the world. Uh, I think ours is technically more like the U.S. military is more expensive, but I'm pretty sure by sheer numbers of people, the Chinese military is the largest in the world, and they don't hesitate to fucking use it into Marxist perspective, we're talking, again, you don't like talking about class. So I just talked about the bourgeois being in power in Russia and China, and your answer was that they need to have the bourgeois in power as a way of mobilizing the productive forces of China to get their money back from the West, which first of all, they're doing a terrible job because America's still number one, baby. And two, what does that have to do with Marxism? If, if, if your perspective is only anti-imperialist, then just say that. But Marx would have never said, yeah, just let the bourgeois control your country if it lets you sufficiently exploit your working class to, like, get the, um, the wealth back from the, the West. If you do not extract the wealth back from the, that was taken from the West, it is impossible to actually create a communist society. Socialism is not when everyone's equally poor. Socialism is when we rationally... That is a, he's reciting a line. This is, this may as well be a Bible verse. That is a line that Caleb Maupin repeats. It's an adage. We watched M Caleb Maupin the other day repeat that over and over again. Right now, he's may as well be quoting a Bible verse. It's just, uh, you know, communism is not when uh, everybody is equally poor. Organized labor around people instead of profits. These are cold so, answers. You, these are all. Um, no, no, no. It is. I can see it in your head. You're following these answers from bumper stickers that you have in your mind. Think for a oh, second. No. I'm talking about class. So why can't the CCP manage to be able to economically progress? You have to have the capital, the financial means to actually make that possible. Okay, and that is. Uh, in the 21st century. Okay, but this is where this is okay. While it is true that yes, uh, in order to have power, you need to be able to win power. That doesn't mean you have to incorporate the exact model of the people that you're struggling against. This is the thing that gets me so mad about MLs. They think that, oh, well, yes, we live in a capitalist world that is predominantly run by capitalists. Yes, you are going to have to accumulate some capital in order to be able to fight back against this to some degree. And instead they just go, well, what we actually need to do is make the best capitalist system that sucks up all the resources and then we can push the communism button 
out of our own goodwill as if the structure of capitalism is designed to perpetuate capitalism. Capitalism, and this is core to Marx, the idea of, 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 of social reproduction, of reproduction of, of the, um, what was it called? The reproduction of the, oh fuck, I'm slipping on the terminology that Marx used. Um, God damn it, the, 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 not the state of labor, it's like the conditions, the conditions, reproduction of the conditions for labor. It's basically the idea that capitalism is a system that is designed to reproduce itself. It is designed to force people who participate into it uh, increasingly to become deeper a part of it. Okay, awesome, HGB guy. I'll make sure it gets on there. I'm going to get this GIF up here too, and I'll do that one. It, does, it doesn't mean you need a billionaire class. Yes, we can acknowledge that billionaires is a level of excessive wealth that most people, including apparently tankies, cannot grasp. A, a billionaire may as well be, uh, just from sheer amount of resources they're hoarding underneath them, they may as well be a king. That is, that is the level of, of riches we're talking. We're talking a level of riches that no human could ever use. No group of humans could ever actually use, except for to waste. And what do they do? They use it to maintain their wealth. They use it to perpetuate their wealth. ...has left millions of people out of poverty and have created a society that is a lot more uh, rationally organized than anything that we see in yes, the West. Yes, capitalism has done wonderful stuff for China, I agree. But we're not capitalism talking about class. Wait, I'm begging you to engage in class analysis. Feudalism had markets, capitalism has markets, socialism has markets, the old slave states have had markets. markets no, are not so socialism can have markets, it can't have bourgeois. I'm talking about class, you keep ignoring the class element. This is the fourth time now, I talk about class and you're like, something else, something else, class. That's clarified. If we want Oops. the working class to do well, we do not want them to all be equally poor. Okay, so this isn't an Here he goes again. Element. It's expanding on the class elements. So why do the bourgeois need to be in the CCP? If it's a proletarian state, which right. is what they claim to be, then why would they allow the bourgeois to be part of the CCP? They should be the underclass. The bourgeois should have the boot of the proletariat upon them. But the bourgeois they are in the CCP. The bourgeois into the Chinese uh, Communist Party. Uh, they would never have been able to bring the wealth uh, that was stolen by the West back into China. How do you need to put the billionaires in charge of your society in order to take the well, wealth I back from America? What wants, right? To have everyone to be equally poor, people to be in poverty, uh, people. Just repeat that fucking Bible verse. Just hit it on over. To, you know, end up being genocided. Okay, please, um, wait, please listen. Wait, wait, please, please. And listen to what I'm, wait, wait, please. Just what I'm actually saying here, okay? So, I'm talking about class analysis, like in a Marxist sense. So why yeah. would the Chinese Communist Party, which is meant to be the vanguard party, the, the vanguard of the proletarian state, how are any of its goals for proletarian advancement brought about by putting the bourgeois in power? By allowing the export of capital to return to China. How could they not just do that through policies implemented without because having the bourgeois in power? Economic resources within China when they were in Alger uh, like a semi feudal state that just got socialized. Okay, they did not have the capital, the means in which to actually move production without bringing back capital to China. No, I'm not talking about bringing back capital. We know China has to have capital. I'm talking about the bourgeois. Why do the bourgeois need to be in power? You can just mobilize the capital and resources of the bourgeois without putting them in power. That's the point of a proletarian state. If China did not allow sectors of capital to be within their party. So, so explain to me how they needed to put the bourgeois in power in order to use the resources of the bourgeois. As I understood it, a proletarian state right. is a state in which the proletariat are the dominant class. You can just exploit the bourgeois as that. an underclass without putting them in charge. 
you would not be able to get the capital from the West if you did not put people within uh, the, the CCP in positions of power so the West would trust China to think that China was going to be liberalized by the Literally, literally trying to argue that this is a, a 5D chess. This is, this is Trump type mentality. I'm not kidding you. This is just fucking Trump mentality. Holy shit. Oh my God. It's like, oh yeah, this is a, this is definitely going to be a, uh, this is a top secret, uh, fucking, uh, a top secret 5D chess plan to trick liberals into believing that China isn't communist by behaving exactly like a liberal. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's so fucking weird. Do you see what I mean when I say that this is like very fucking, uh, when I say this is very fucking fanatical, it's very fucking weird. Oh my god. Alright, let's continue. West. <laughs> it's so, so, so fucking... It's, it's like the Russian military strategy. It's a feint. They're like, okay, we're gonna fill our vanguard party with members of the bourgeois to trick the West into using our sweatshops. That, really? That's the best you... Sorry, my cat. And it was That's the best you've got? Kitty moment. It was successful. I mean... I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yeah. Real quick. Uh, just a real quick thing. I'm very sorry to Punky Gal. For some reason, neither of those gifts worked. Uh, but neither of them are downloading his gifts. I don't exactly know exactly what's wrong with it. Um, maybe if you could try a different one, I will get them up, Punky Gal. I'm sorry about that. I don't know why they're not working. Let's continue. Is they're now. capitalist. Well done. Sorry, just try a different yes, website. China's Some websites capitalist. are weird. They're poorer than us, and they have sweatshops. They're doing great. They are not poorer than average Americans. The GDP <laughs> might be lower uh, in China, but they... What? By basically every standard, that is so false, it's unbelievable. Also, it undermines his own narrative. But again, they can't say anything bad about China. They can't. That, it's like almost religious. You know how, you know how Christians can't say, they, they're, they're like, they won't, they can't say anything about God. Uh, anything bad about God, it's because God is, is the definition of, of good. Just like he said earlier on, uh, well, you know, Marxism, Leninism will adapt over time, and that's fine if you're not claiming a dogmatic, uh, a, a dogmatic, highly centralized, highly authoritarian structure that supposedly represents the good of the people. That's the problem. Their messaging is is contradictory. It's contradictory and harmful. Quality of life. Uh, for average Chinese workers compared to average American workers is a higher quality. Do you have a source on that by chance? Not on me, no, but I can confirm that is the case. Oh, okay. Well, your confirmation is, is what I need. Um, okay, so I still don't understand how the bourgeois need to be put in charge. Maybe that's what America's doing. Like, we have the bourgeois in charge in America as part of like a 70 chess strategy to advance the proletariat. You have to have politicians in any government that's capable of understanding geopolitics in such a Thank way you, that they can manipulate the right West in. for the benefit of their own country. Can the proletariat not understand geopolitics? Are you a classist? They are not. Actually, Chinese workers understand things a lot better than American workers, largely because they are not propagandized like American mm -hmm, workers. Mm -hmm. God, uh, so why on. not just have the proletariat in charge? Say it again? Why not just have the proletariat in charge? Yeah, if that's then, true. If yeah, exactly. Things, so. That's a great argument. Why not? If it's true, then why do they... If that's true, then why do they need a bourgeois class to guide them? If there's... Like, it doesn't make any sense. None of this... None of these arguments actually address the problems that people bring up with Marxism-Leninism. Here we go. Let's get all these in here. Yeah, we're filling this up. The screen right up. It's becoming a beautiful canvas. Oh, yeah, socialist potato. Let's get this one in here. Well, why do you need the bourgeois stepping on the proletariat? True. Good question. Of um, members of the bourgeois. Same with Russia, you... by the way. Oh, no. What did I do? If you don't understand how it is important to actually get the wealth extracted from the global south, or extracted from the existed with Deng I Deng pressed Deng a button, Deng I'm sorry. Uh, Xi Jinping. They were I did, and if it lets you sufficiently exploit your working class to, like, there we go. get the, um, 
the wealth back from the the West. If you do not extract Sorry, the wealth back from the that was taken from the West, it is impossible to actually create a communist society. Socialism is not when everyone's equally poor. Socialism is when we rationally organize labor around people instead of profits. These are cold so, answers. You, these are all, um, no, no, oh, we're no, actually, it we is. Did I jump can back. see it in your head. You're following these answers from bumper stickers that you have in your mind. Think for a second. <laughs> I'm talking <laughs> about class. So why, no, I agree, but we're not I talking about class. class. Wait, I'm begging you to engage in class analysis. <laughs> Feudalism had markets. Capitalism has markets. Socialism has markets. The old okay, sorry, I had, had I accidentally no, reminded no, a little so, bit. We're socialism back there, can have worry. markets. It can't have bourgeois. I'm talking about class. You keep ignoring the class element. This is the fourth do. time now. I talk convenient. about class, and you're like something else, something else. Class. That's clarified. Thank you, Punky Gal. Gotcha. Want the working class to do well. We do not. John want Keller, thank you very, very much for the incredibly poor. generous donation. Okay. So thank you very much. Deeply appreciate that. Likewise, thank elements. you very much, Falmer so Flamingo. The bourgeois thank you very, need very to be much. In the CCP, if it's a proletarian state, which is what they claim to be, then why would they allow the bourgeois to be part of the CCP? They should be the underclass. The bourgeois should have the boot of the proletariat upon them. But the bourgeois they are in the CCP. The bourgeois into the Chinese. Oh my God, why is it doing party? this? Uh, they would never have been able to bring the wealth uh, that was did. stolen by the West back into China. How do you need to put the billionaires in charge of your society in order to take the well, wealth back from America? What wants, right? To have everyone to be equally poor, people to be in poverty, I'll get you, Cheeto. Uh, people to, you know, end up being genocided. Okay, please, um, wait, please listen. Wait, wait, please, please. And listen to what I'm, wait, wait, please. Just what I'm actually saying here, okay? So... I'm talking about class analysis, like in a Marxist sense. So why yeah. would the Chinese Communist Party, which is meant to be the vanguard party, the, the vanguard of the proletarian state, how are any of its goals for proletarian advancement brought about Not sure. I may have by missed putting Joey. the I'll try bourgeois and grab it. Let me in see. power? By allowing the export of capital to I'll return this to right China. Now. How could they not just do that through policies implemented without because having the bourgeois in power? Economic resources within China when they were in Alger uh, like a semi feudal state that just got socialized. Okay, they did not have uh, the. Sorry, Joey Ravioli, that one doesn't work. Actually, I need I need that in GIF format. It won't let me put it on. Sorry about that. Capital to Apologies China. about no, the limitations. I'm not talking there. about bringing back capital. We know China has to have capital. I'm talking about the bourgeois. Why do the bourgeois need to be in power? You can just mobilize the capital and resources of the bourgeois without putting them in power. That's the point of a proletarian state. If China did not allow sectors of capital to be within their party. So, so explain to me how they needed to put the bourgeois... Okay, so is it possible... Is it possible to imagine, in fact, I would argue that it is inevitable that to some degree there will have to be an, uh, to be interchange between communists and capitalists in pursuit of a communist world. But if that is going to happen, you have to structure it in such a way that it cannot be just uh, easily usurped or you have to encourage in one way or another to resist the idea of just falling into capitalism, which we haven't seen. Instead, uh, ca counter to what this, uh, this Yankee tanky person is saying, counter, we've seen oligarchs be welcomed into the party as a form of collaboration. And increasingly, members of the party have enormous, enormous uh, hordes of wealth. That's a very, that's a, that's a, contradictory that's a seriously contradictory problem if your party is easily usurped by oligarchs and that they just use it to empower and replicate capitalism and a giant market system a profit-seeking system in your country you're not fighting communism anymore you've just become capitalism in power in order to use the resources of the bourgeois. As I understood it, a proletarian state right. is a state in which the proletariat are the dominant class. You can just exploit the bourgeois as an underclass without putting them in charge. 
you would not be able to get the capital from the West if you did not put people within uh, uh, the, the CCP in positions of power so the West would trust China to think that China was going to be liberalized by the West. It's so, so, so fucking, it's, it's like the Russian military strategy. It's a feint. They're like, okay, we're going to fill our vanguard party with members of the bourgeois to trick the West into using our sweatshops. That Really? That's the best you've... Sorry, my cat. And it was That's the best you've successful. got? It was successful. I mean, look at what, what yeah, China is they're now. capitalist. Well done. Yes. Yes, China is capitalist. Yes, there's no, there is no, there is, there is no meaningful way that you can describe China as a communist country. There is, there is no aspect of a communist society in place in China. They can call themselves communist until the cows come home. They can call themselves aspirationally communist until the cows come home. But the fact of the matter is the country is not a communist country. It is a centralized, highly, highly, highly uh, marketized state. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about that. You can say they're aspirational, but that's not the argument that's made here. The argument is just that, no, they are the chosen ones. They are the holy representatives of communism in the world. And therefore, whatever, they doing, whatever they're doing, we must take it on faith that it's for the good of the people. But it isn't. There are so many people hurting all over the world, and many of them are hurting because of the choices that China made. I'm not saying that there's not other countries that have made problems, obviously. Oh my fucking god. We have sweatshops. They're I just, it's, this is one of those things where you guys know how I say all the time that like, um, that like, uh, it doesn't matter, like labels and shit like that that people use for themselves li really genuinely do not matter. It does not matter at fucking all what people, uh, call themselves, uh, on the internet, what people call themselves all over the place. It doesn't fucking matter. Every, unless their unless their actions back it up, the label means jack shit. This is part of the reason, by the way, why I like to talk about con artists and shit on stream a lot, because people say all kinds of stuff, but at the end of the day, it's their actions, it is their it is their decisions, it is the structure of their organizations, it is the way they go about engaging with the world that matters. Excellent. Thank you so much, Cheeto. I'll get that up right away. Thank you very much for your help, Cheeto. If you are here and you don't know what's going on, we are doing a maximalism stream, which means any donation, you can choose to have a GIF or an image up on the screen as long as it's safe for work. So if you donate any amount, go ahead, slap a donation in, and I will get your GIF up on there. Just please make sure it's in GIF format if you can. Thank you very, very much, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the stream because we are having a motherfucking blast. Let's do this. We're doing great. They are not poorer than average Americans. The GDP <laughs> might be lower uh, in China, but the quality of life uh, for average Chinese workers compared to average American workers is a higher quality. Do you have a source on that by chance? Not on me, no, but I can confirm that is the case. Oh, okay. Well, your confirmation is, is what I need. Um, okay, I so I still don't understand how the bourgeois need to be put in charge. Maybe that's what America's doing. Socialist like, potato, thank you We have you the bourgeois much. in charge in America <laughs> as part of like a 70 chess strategy to advance the proletariat. You have to have politicians in any government that's capable of understanding geopolitics in such a way that they can manipulate the West for the benefit of their own country. Can the proletariat not understand geopolitics? Are you a classist? They yes. are yes. not actually Chinese workers understand Whoops. things a lot better than Whoopsies. American workers, largely because they are not propagandized like American mm -hmm, workers. Mm -hmm. uh, so but why not just have the proletariat in charge? Say it again. Why not just have the proletariat? Rhodes, did we restart this? Uh, I accidentally rewound like 30 seconds, so yes. Uh, we're, we're back to where we were now. I apologize. I accidentally rewound a little bit. Proletariat in charge, then, if they understand things so well, why do you need the bourgeois stepping on the proletariat? At any point, the Chinese government ran by the workers of the country. Oh, yeah, also, the idea that Chinese workers are not propagandized to to the same degree as America is so, it is so blatantly false. It is so deeply 
disgustingly, moronically false. Like, again, this is one of those things that you can only really believe if you're incredibly, incredibly naive or if you're genuinely just dishonest and lying, which I think I tend to think most Marxist Leninists are dishonest liars. Guys, do we not forget that China is the country that doesn't allow for depiction of homosexual relationships on television and in their movies? Have we remembered that? That's propaganda. When you force movies to not display certain types, that's fucking propaganda. This is the country where they literally have state-run search engines, state-run search engines, which auto filter controversial issues involving the, the Chinese government. This is a country that persecutes uh, religious minorities with death and with concentration camps. Fucking, this guy is full of shit. This guy is really full of shit. And it's really sad to see that he's still full of shit even after leaving this, cr this fucking unhinged cult. Are capable of stepping in and changing how production is operating. But the bourgeois are in charge. We acknowledged that earlier. Oh, they're not really in charge. Uh, they're just in governments. I it doesn't mean they're in charge. I take it back. I do think that your ideology leads intrinsically to cult behavior. This is insane. You, so the problem is I could never convince you of this, but not you're not a Marxist. You're not even like remotely a leftist. Um, True. You're just a nationalist for Fascist. countries that aren't American. That's the only consistent ideology you yep. have. You'll, you'll just re you'll repeat Sorry. like state lines of propaganda from them. But outside yep. of that, there's like no consistency in what you believe at all. It's certainly not Marxism. This is, we are so I far. <laughs> this is like scientific you know, socialism. Like we scientifically just rounded back to capitalism with nationalist characteristics. Uh, you do not understand dialectical materialism. You don't understand that our understanding of material conditions change over time. Ah, uh, to capitalism. Not to capitalism, okay? The, so the, it the seems. Yes, change over time. You don't step in the same- Okay, this is the stupid thing. You can- Okay, I- I say this- I say this as somebody who, um, literally lives with a Marx head, okay? Doe, my partner reads Marx all the time, and I assure you, if you take even a moment to read a tiny bit of Marx, that his criticisms of capital apply equally to modern day China that, as they did to capitalism in his day. Part of the reason why Marx is such a valued uh, political and economic writer is because he managed to very accurately describe the mechanisms by which capitalism functions and how it twists uh, it twists us from what we actually aim to to get out of the world. Like it's it, it, it's. I mean, I understand a lot of people bouncing off of theory, but this isn't just bouncing off of theory. This is just lying. Marx criticized countries that operate exactly like China. Do they really accurately de depict modern economies? Yes. It's, it's a, the reason why the Marx failed to predict X memes are, are a meme is because actually Marx did a really good job predicting exactly how economist, uh, uh, capitalist economies would function into the near future. Yes, did, could he, he didn't know about computers, he didn't know the extent to which, um, you know, surveillance would expand, et cetera, et cetera, but that's not, that's not exactly relevant in this case because the core critiques are still true. The core analyses about, how, about the way, the material and mathematic ways that capitalism functions hold strong. River twice. So again, I can see the bumper stickers. Oh, let me gr let me real quick. I'm trying to keep an eye on YouTube. Worshipper of the Olympians, thank you very very much. Uh, MLs are Eastern chauvinist. Um, sometimes yes. I unironically that's true. Keep in mind that China has a huge problem with state with the uh, with with uh, with Han Chinese supremacy because that is seen as a cultural signifier that is representative of the true. Uh, the true culture of China, that is an imposed state-enforced culture that is used to justify the persecution of indigenous people to various areas that China has now laid claim on. They function exactly like every other uh, 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 imperial state. 
thoughts flying through your head. I don't think you're an unintelligent man, but you, like, you're, you're still, like, I still feel like I'm talking to a cultist right now. You're not engaging in analysis when you, when you respond to me, which is why I feel like I have to keep wrangling you back to the point that I'm on. You, you have, like, predetermined propaganda lines. Points that you're trying to, you're trying to gear the conversation into the means that, that you control it, right? Basic Marxism, you're just basic... understands the working class of China and Russia and all of these different countries. They are, you know, struggling against U.S. imperialism. That is the fact of the situation. Um, in Do you want to know, you want to know who else was struggling against U.S. imperialism? Nazi Germany. Just because you're struggling uh, against U.S. imperialism, which, for the record, is bad, does not mean that you are automatically good. There are all kinds of absolutely heinous factions throughout history that have also happened to hate America. Guys, Americans hate America, okay? That doesn't exactly make you, you're not, you're not coming to any great conclusion for hating America, okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I'd like, nah, no, Yo, I don't, Falcai, I don't know if I even you so much. agree with that. Um, well, holy shit. Wait a second. Whoa, Falcaya. Oh my God. This is so sick. Hold on. I have to pause to show you guys this. This is the sickest. What the fuck, Falcaya? This is so sick. Look at this shit, guys. Look, wait, it just took over the entire screen. I didn't mean for it to take over the entire screen, but look at that shit. What the hell? That's fucking awesome! Falgaia, what the fuck? That's slick as shit! Wow, that's awesome. I'm proud to have that on this screen. Look at this. Truly an amazing, ca uh, an amazing canvas. Someone should gift Falgaia a gifted sub. Uh, I think that the the workers of China and of Russia are mostly um, subservient to their own bourgeois states, um, more so than anything. There are plenty of countries that are directly subservient to American imperialism, but China is powerful enough that if it wanted to, it could provide a better life for its citizens. It chooses it not to, but... Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Six Foot Slug says, What in the world of Warcraft raid you I did I walk into? You have walked into a a one-of-a-kind Demon Mama maximalism stream where for any donation, you can put up a GIF of your choice so long as you send me a link and it's got to be to a GIF. I can't use WebP and all that other shit. So you got to give me a GIF. But if you do, you will be added to the amazing, incredible... Uh, 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 canvas that we are making together. We're watching a meme of a debate, so we're just having a good time, enjoying our time together, laughing, and making some art, okay? So, sit down, have a good time, and, uh, you know... B -b 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 Bazinga! Let's go. They do. They do provide a higher quality of life for their citizens. I'm sure, right, I'm sure. So does, uh, uh Iran. Thank you, Outer So Cat. does Venezuela. So is Nicaragua. Yes. So does Cuba. Yes, the citizens the of Cuba, Iran, Nicaragua, and Venezuela all have higher qualities of life than American citizens. I'm sure. I'm sure the, the, the sources for you I could mean, provide on these issues are... Do. I'm squatting in a house while all of those people have guaranteed housing. I'm sure. There are no homeless in China. Have... There are no homeless in China. <laughs> there are no... Guaranteed. Yeah. Okay. All right, I, I really, I'm not, I'm not gonna pick on this guy for squatting in a house because first of all, uh, I don't really have anything morally wrong with squatting in an empty house. In fact, I actually don't think there's anything really wrong with that on a moral level. However, that is a, um, that is not logic that, that, that you're squatting in a house because you were ripped off by an ML party. You're squatting in a house because somebody used this lofty bullshit about how China's the, the real communist future and you're going to build communism in America to exploit you for all that you were worth. This guy wrote about it. We read this on stream. We read this guy's testimony on stream. He got literally all of his money ripped off. So like... While I, while I, I, I don't care at all about the squatting, this argument doesn't work at all.
Wait, did somebody say, did somebody, is somebody mad? Somebody's mad about the Go White Boy? Oh no, they like it. It is good. I think it's fucking good. I thought somebody said it was annoying. Hey, you don't gotta apologize, let's enjoy. I know. I, again, like, it, it's just nationalism here, but none of it, like, revolves around class interest in the slightest. Yes, um, this is It's just like, you like you these countries. To be, to be better off, you have to remove U.S. imperialism before anything else. Um, well, there's not really much of a point in removing U.S. imperialism if they're just going to be subservient to the, um, uh, the interests of oh, their bourgeois-controlled governments. Now the countries of Venezuela and Nicaragua and China and Russia and Syria and Iran, we, it would be better if we just let them be under the foot of the boot of U.S. imperialism. How about, what if we got rid of, okay, so this is a crazy idea. What, so we should get rid of imperialism, that's good. Um... <laughs> Because <laughs> without U.S. imperialism, the people of Syria would be doing just fine. Actually, okay, keep in mind that, again, this is another argument that doesn't work. If I was to say that um, our shitty culture makes it so that lots of people end up getting exploited by, let's put it this way, here's an argument, okay? Lots of old people in our society end up getting exploited by nursing homes. That doesn't make... And, and it is because our society has lots of systemic problems that basically funnels old people into exploitative nursing homes, right? That doesn't make the nursing homes good. Just because country, smaller countries were forced into the hands of the USSR or into the hands of China does not mean that they're not being exploited by another empire. Yeah, the problem is empires in general, and they all behave the same. They all exploit other people, they all dominate and use their gigantic militaries to crush dissent, and they all must be resisted. If you are actually a communist, if you actually believe in the ideas that build the idea of communism, a better world. So, just because... Uh, just because uh, Cuba and, and Syria and whatever went turned to Russia because they were afraid of American imperialism doesn't make Russia or China good. It, it just means that that country was taken advantage of by a competing empire. This is a part of this is a thing of history through all of history. And yeah, maybe one empire could you might be able to argue that maybe one empire has some things better than the other one. Maybe you would rather deal with one empire than the other empire. That's a different conversation. But calling those empires communism is lying. It's apologia for an empire. Let's talk about the yeah. people of Syria. So in addition... Also, Sophie, thank you very, very much. Very happy to have you. And, and welcome to the chat. If you are watching in YouTube chat and you want to be on the chat that's up on the screen with all the colored names, please come on over to demonmama.com forward slash live. I promise you it's super, super cozy. It's always bumping. Happy to have you in chat and welcome to my wild show. To removing U.S. imperialism, there's also another uh, powerful autocratic force in that region that's suppressing oh, yeah. the will. Assad, he's such an evil person. You know, this guy that didn't even want to be uh, the leader of this country that only got forced into the position after his brother died. Yes. He yes, is yes. Such a yes, the person who... Okay, so all of the things that I've said so far have basically been a waste of my time because this guy just straight up said it. I don't know, why do I even try? Why do I even bother, like, explaining why these arguments are bad when some asshole is just gonna come out and do flat apologia for a war criminal? Inherited the monarchical position from his father and won with a 99.9% .9 approval rating. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, Poor Assad. actually support their leader. If only the protesters gunned, uh, he gunned down, uh, understood his pain. Do you, wait, I, I, wait, I genuinely have to ask. Wait, so, cause I just heard what you said, even though your, your, your mic's a bit dodgy. Tankoids, straight up, I'm sorry, I hate to do this, but fucking off, like, even, even, fucking off lefties suck so much. They're not lefties. I, like, anybody who claims to be an authoritarian lefty is just not a lefty. They are, they are not meaningfully, they're not, 
they are not meaningfully overlapping positions, okay? If you end up believing that, yeah, it's okay to have gigantic state entities that crush their dissenters, you're just not a leftist. You haven't actually ad ad adopted any sort of uh, any sort of critique, you haven't adopted any sort of meaningful worldview that critiques the machines that make our world the way it is. It is so stupid. People say, yeah, most types of socialism suck. Okay, no. No, no, not even close by comparison. I'm sorry. There are so many different socialist and and uh, leftist positions that have nothing to do with doing fucking apologia for war criminals. What an embar- like, they're just indistinguishable from a Nazi. This is the same shit Nazis do. They play word games and then they ultimately just, uh, their whole goal is to just create plausible deniability, to create a miasma of doubt that says, well, maybe, maybe this mass murderer really did have a point. Fuck, it's so gross. The gift directly above the gift directly above Shadow the Hedgehog is custom art by our our community's amazing artist Falgaia. It is Falgaia's OC, and it is really cool. But that's fine. That's you know that's whatever. You just said, oh, so you know something something they support their leader. Do you sincerely believe that the election results for Assad and his father were legitimate? That like ninety nine point seven percent. You do? Yes. Okay, you're yes. going to fall into another cult as soon as this conversation is done. You realize that, right? Like, you're literally going, like, the call's gonna end, and you're gonna walk mm -hmm. outside, and somebody with a He's already in it. He never left the cult. He just thought that Caleb Maupin was incompetent. And by the way, this happens all the time. There are... Every single cult has the second in command who is just waiting to take over as soon as the first one falls down. And they will make the same promises that the first cult leader did, and they will be exactly the same. Every single cult has that number two guy just waiting to take over when the first one falls down the stairs or shits himself or whatever and can't be the leader anymore. Pamphlet is going to convince you to kill yourself on the street. Your cult is cults. You know, the cult of NATO, the cult of U.S. Empire. You fully support Oh, thanks, Spyro Gal. Uh, you, Do you want to just, can you just type it to me here and I'll grab it? Favor of NATO. This the, is, the very I know, it's, to a dogmatic person, it might be difficult to understand. You, so, I, I, I guess, um... Worshipper of the Olympians, thank you very, very much. Deeply appreciate your incredibly generous $20 donation. Hot take, tankies do more genocide denial than fascists and Nazis. Maybe, maybe, no, maybe, like... Maybe by sheer numbers, but the Nazis, the Nazis and fascists are way, way, way more likely to engage in it than your average, ta than your average, like, uh, tanky type. Yes, lots of tankies do do genocide denial, but, uh, I don't know. I think they might have them outnumbered, but the severity is not there. Yeah. Maybe you can help me. I don't know how to talk to a person like you because you are in a different world. You don't exist in the one that I exist in. Um, I don't know how I would, how I can talk to you. Is anyone delusional enough to believe that Assad's election results, like, all the info we have, like, you have to ignore so much in order to believe that that was the Pretty legitimate well democratic will of the people, that I, like, I legitimately, like, I put this on tier of, like, Holocaust denial in terms of how far yeah. gone you have to be from reality. Yes. Um, but the problem is, like, you believe this about everything. I've talked to Nazis plenty of times. Normally, their delusion begins and ends at a very specific set of things um, when it comes to that level of, like, self-delusion. But for you, it seems to be like half the countries on Earth are subject to your nationalist um, dogmatism. How you would view uh, uh, Nazis as more rational than communists. It's almost as if you support you're, Ukraine and have... You're not a communist. See, that again was a bumper sticker answer. You didn't address what I said. You just like yep. thought of like, well, what's one yep. of the predetermined lines I have? I don't think of you. You're not a communist. So Vosh calls it bumper sticker. I call it quoting verses. It's all the same thing. It's basically pre-prepared thought terminating cliches. Well, of course you'd say, of course you'd say I'm similar to a Nazi. After all, you do support Ukraine. Ukraine, the country that was invaded by Russia 
that was invaded by the capitalist country Russia by the leader who was literally saying we're doing this because we need to rebuild the Russian Empire. How, like, I, I just don't understand how you can be that stupid. It really is a special level of, of, of like, I've been, I've gotten lost in Wonderland and my brain just isn't working anymore. I don't think it's a fair comparison. I am a communist. You aren't. You support NATO. Right. Again, Snack. it's dogmatism. You don't have any logic. You just have Snack. talking points. That's so good. To, uh, uh, Mixed like, dizzy. Support countries are actually improving the material conditions of their own Stop working Stop right class. there, criminal huh? scum. Dogmatism to support NATO, to support U.S. empire, to this, support... You're doing it again. ...pushed by the U.S. State Department. That's not... That's, that's not Big dogmatism. Snack. You're, do, you're doing Big it again. Snack. You're not actually... So, okay. The point what of an argument... Doing? is that you address what a person has said and you respond to it in, in a manner to refute it. What you're doing right now is you're repeating like talking points. So you're not, you keep bringing up NATO. One second real quick. Worshipper of the Olympians, more bumper stickers than a redneck pickup. True, and thank you very much for the generosity. Deeply appreciate it. It is literally, it is just, this has been all thought terminating cliches. This has all been quippy one-liners. It's pathetic. I haven't brought up NATO once. I don't know why you keep bringing it up. I'm only talking about things that you've brought up here. Um, so, but you keep running to other, like, things. Uh, do you understand? Like, it, it, we were talking about Assad. Because you are advocating for NATO and advocating We're not talking for about NATO. Why, we're, we're, but we, I, well, I, I didn't bring up NATO. Is why do you pretend to hide behind this leftist spear uh, instead of actually, uh -huh. you know, just saying it outright that you support U.S. imperialism, that you actually believe that it would be better for the United States to control and manipulate the world? I don't believe that. Your actions say otherwise. When you do not support those who are actually fighting against U.S. imperialism, but instead support U.S. imperialism because, oh, they're a lesser evil, Effectively, okay. what you are doing Wait, is what? serving. Wait, but the that's the argument. But that's the argument the tankies make. The arguments tankies make is that, well, yeah, but but China is the lesser evil, so you can't really. That's not a really effective fucking. That's not an effective counter argument. If you're do, if your argument is built off the same thing. Ugh. Anyway, hold on. I need to put this little. I need to have a little blunt over here. Okay, here we go. Hold on. I need to. How do I rotate it? How do I do that? Can I re freeform? Hmm. Hmm. There's got to be a way to do it. I think there's a there's a way, but I don't remember. What's the command in OBS? There's a command in OBS that lets you do it. Here, hold on. Put it right here for now. There we go. Let's continue. Multinational corporations serving the interests of monopoly capital. Oh my god, it's all bumper stickers. Okay, wait, let me try to roll this back. Okay, so when America invaded Nazi Germany, would you agree yes. no. that that was an extension of American imperialism? No, it was actually working with the Soviet Union to crush the Nazis. Wait, we, we occupied part of Western Germany. It was literally imperialism. We conquered a country and then occupied them for, for like 50 the years after. War? That was the beginning of the, uh, the control of the U.S. imperialists and the decline of the British imperialists. So, yes, in that detail, that would be uh, supporting U.S. imperialism. But okay. up until the point where they actually took out Nazi Germany, that was the, the United States under FDR actually fighting on the side of the Soviet Union. Okay, you, so initially you realized... Like, but that's chance, though. It's not like, it's not because they were like, because the Soviet Union and America, like, super agreed. It's because, because both America and the Soviets were threatened by the unbelievable... Uh, aggression of Nazi Germany. They weren't like, yeah, we both agree communism is based. Let's take down Germany, bro. No.
the Soviets and the Nazis allied, right? Wait, I'm sorry. Is your perspective on the righteousness of, of World War II determined entirely by who Stalin was aligned with? Yeah. The United, or rather, the Soviet Union did not ally with, uh, oh, with the Soviet Union. Oh, my God. Please, so, wait, I, it's funny that we brought up Holocaust denial yeah. earlier, because you're about to do Nazi apologetics again. They were an Axis power. Pigeon. No, they were not. They were having an agreement did not attack Damn. Another oh, country. agreeing with the Nazis. That's crazy. Why would That's Stalin do that? Saying, hey, I understand that the Nazis are going to declare war on us. Let's try to prevent the, our country from being invaded for as long as possible so we can build up our military that's, forces. That's a great excuse, dude. I, oh, I love allying oh, with Nazis for self-preservation. <laughs> The United States, uh, the UK, France, none of these countries wanted to ally the, uh, with the Soviet Union against the Nazis. That's remember that it was the US and their billionaires, or at this time, multimillionaires. Mm -hmm. It was extremely necessary for them to invade Poland and ally with the Nazis, and only breaking the pact when the Nazis invaded them. I know, it was very necessary. They had to have that pact so they could make sure that their military... Yeah, uh, as Help Satan says... Is he really going to pretend that Stalin didn't hate Jewish people? Because I'm pretty sure he did. Like, yeah. J Jewish people weren't exactly treated very well in, uh, in fucking, uh, Stalin, Stalin's Russia, okay? Does it matter? No, because this guy does not, this guy is, like, on a couple layers deep. And it's really sad, because... This guy's been like, this guy's been indoctrinated hardcore and he just doesn't seem interested in challenging that indoctrination, even though he was just totally burned by, by the cult that he was indoctrinated into. And I think my suspicion is because I think this guy wants to be the next Caleb Maupin. I think he wants to take over and be the leader now that Caleb Maupin's gone. Yeah, Spyro Gal, sorry about that. I apologize if I miss any. Let me get yours up. Damn, we're almost at 50 gifts. Holy moly, that's fucking sick. Oh no, that's an HTML. What the hell? Wait, hold on. Why did it do an HTML? I don't want- Why does Tumblr do the HTML? That's so annoying. Ah! It does HTMLs every single time. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, it always does. Okay, Tumblr, guys. Tumblr is not going to be friendly. I'm sorry. Apologies about that. Give me one from not, from not there, okay? forces were ready because the United States and Britain and France and the rest of the Western powers were not willing to work with the Soviet they had, Union. They had, had no choice. No choice at all. Okay, I know we, we weren't even on this. We weren't even on this point. We can cut. We can stop with the Nazi. Thank you, Cheeto. Thank you. So, oh, Nazi apologetics. I'm sorry. Yes. You're the one is apologizing for Nazis. You're defending allying with Nazis right now. Like you guys. Literally, wait, wait, wait. Please, please, please. Just for a moment. Just for a moment. Just for a moment. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, it really is not hard. It really, really, really is not hard to just say that was a very bad move, and Stalin was very bad for allying with the Nazis at any point. Okay, it really is not that hard of a bullet to bite. Unless you're a cultist who believes that that you have to essentially have no dissent and remember that a core part of Marxism Leninism the ideology of Marxism Leninism is forming a party block and never defecting never disagreeing with each other only sorting issues out behind closed doors where conveniently cult leaders can manipulate people Virtual Girl. Virtual Girl says, I can't donate right now, but I wanted to say that I've been on estradiol for one month now, and you were the main driving factor into me realizing I'm trans, non-binary. Also very happy because I have titties now. Virtual Girl, fucking congratulations. And keep in mind, you were the main driving force. I can only equip you with information and perhaps some emotional uh, inspiration, but you were the main driving force. Never forget that. Trans rights, trans liberation, and uh, and and trans thriving. Let's continue.
Wait, please, 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 please. I just think it's really funny that you guys screech about the Azov Battalion because there were like 2,000 guys out of... Oh, good point, Vosh! Fucking killer! This is a great point. Hundreds of thousands of Ukrainian soldiers who are Nazis, but meanwhile, the Soviets literally allied and split up Poland with the Nazis for years, and you guys are like, they had no choice. Like, you're like, oh, Zelensky is, is going to throw Nazi militias at the Russian invaders. This means the entire country is a Nazi. Oh, but the USSR working with the Nazis for years, peace talks, allying, trading territory, agreeing how to carve up Poland. Oh, that was a totally necessary. Like, again, I know you don't actually believe in anything outside nationalism, so let's just move to the imperialism bit. anything other than science. Kaboka, it is the spice melange. It is the wonderful, the wonderful green that allows me to see the wisdom. That's what it is, okay? That's what it is. ...with U.S. imperialism, but that's really besides the point. Right, the right. The point is, the Union was in a position that they had to make sure that now millions officially of people were 50. not slaughtered uh, by I know, the I know, I know, it's yeah. fine. It's okay. Wait, I want to get to the imperialism thing. Please. If all these countries would have actually signed with the Soviet Reunion, which is what Stalin tried to push in initially, mm -hmm. the Soviet Union would have never had to have a defense pact gotcha. with, this, uh, with Nazi Thank you. Germany. I agree with you. Allying with Nazis is fine. Thank you. So anyway, um, with the imperialism thing. So we agree that America invading and occupying Germany was U.S. imperialism, right? Considering that it was the U.S. doing it and we invaded and we literally yeah, occupied territory. Army and allowed a bunch of literal Nazis after the fall of Nazi Germany into the government, uh, going into NASA. Well, you're in favor government. of allying with Nazis, so you shouldn't have an issue with that. So I am in favor of allying with anti- Oh, by the way, please, if you are watching, please consider taking screenshots and posting them in the Discord, because I always like to keep screenshots of how wild our maximalism canvases get. So if you're here and watching, take some screenshots and share them with me because we always, I always like to post these and promote them and stuff. It's very fun. Also, if you are here and having a good time, press that subscribe button, ring that bell, and make sure you press like on the YouTube videos. It is 100% free uh, to watch my show. My show is viewer supported, no sponsorships or any of that nonsense, just viewers and me, always free to the public, and likes, help us really grow. So if you're here and having even a light, slight of a good time, smack that like button. Thank you very much. Imperialist powers. So yes, no mods get one free gift. Of Nazis. So anyway, now that we've agreed that there was at least one instance of American imperialism that was morally justifiable, um, maybe we can acknowledge that- the It was not morally justifiable uh... to occupy uh, West Germany. Let's be very clear. The United States should have pulled out entirely only gave them financial resources to rebuild and support the reunification of Germany under a Soviet government. For, yeah. What? Why? Wait. Why would they just give West Germany to the Soviets? They, the, the West Germans didn't wait. Wait, what? Wait, why would they do that? Wait, don't they do, do so. That. So, they, so USSR could just annex Germany. The Germans unified. Oh, I love your. Uh, I love your. Uh, that would have been the best way moving forward for the German people. Instead, now you know you ended up having Germany split in two. The which West Germans disagree. And I, that was the creation of the West. Okay, I, I know you're angry that you lost the Cold War, um, and that the communists won, but East Germans oh, are on our side not, now. The Cold War, oh, the Cold War has continued, except now China is leading the Cold the War. The fact so that you so believe easy. that explains so much of your ideology. Okay, so anyway, even if the U.S. had only provided aid to West Germany and only done the invasion, that still would have been imperialism, because exercising your power over another country it's is by like definition... It's not an economic system. It's not just invading a country. Oh my god. Country I can't get to anything. Thing. I can't do any... I can't get to any talking point with this guy. Holy shit. Okay. So... Whatever would have happened, America's involvement in World War II was a broadly justifiable act of American imperialism. Bosh, you're hiding behind the gifts. Get out from behind the gifts. My man, get out from behind the gifts. I can't see you. Second World War. After the end, it would have been better for Germany to reunify. So, okay, wait, stop. Soviet. Please stop with running off to other topics. Please, I'm just talking about U.S. imperialism, World War II. We get it. You like the I USSR. You have virtue you signaled one. sufficiently. I am begging you for just a second to please stick to one topic. 
Yeah. Holy it's shit. Okay. I love it. No, I, I know you love it because, like, you're brain damaged. You literally oh, just no. got out of a cult. Yasmin, that one is a web P for some reason. Is there any way? Uh, how do I open this? Maybe if I open it in a new window. Ah, there we go. I think I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Never mind. I got it. Sorry about that. I don't know why it does that. There we go. Okay, I got it. Sorry, never mind. Got it. No, I got it. My apologies. Uh, these websites are so weird. They always try to prevent you from downloading because they want you to make a fucking account. It's really goddamn annoying. Like, I, you, you can't be proud of your ignorance when you were just suckered by a cult leader sex pest. Like, you, you're, like, you're literally, like, like, talk- uh... Unless you want to be the next cult leader sex pest, at which point, actually, it's a pretty good move to basically just say that your leader did it wrong to me as though this is part of some like broader ideological victory on your part when you just got yeah. a person yeah. you trusted yeah. like turned yeah. out to be a lunatic and i'm trying to get to one point and like it's it's abundantly clear to me how this happened to you so i'm just gonna try to okay so if american imperialism was justifiable in an element of world war ii and you know i never made that argument we don't agree on this part. Stop we don't agree like that stopping the Nazis was good? Bring, we agree that stopping the Nazis was good, but that wasn't an act of imperialism. Okay. That was supporting the Soviet Union. When you invade a country and take over... An okay. It is hilariously delusional. It is hilariously ahistorical to believe that America joined World War II to help the Soviet Union and not out of their own interest. Like, what the fuck? Like, I don't know how wrong you can be. Like, that is so wrong about history. It's so, so wrong about history. It's just, it is, it is, it is ahistorical. It is revisionist. It is every single possible type of, it is, it is just like, there is no difference between that behavior and Donald Trump saying that all of the founding fathers were devout Christians. Like, there's no difference. It's just, you're just making up your own version of the world to promote your own interests. I, the longer this conversation goes on, the more I believe this guy wants to be the next Caleb Maupin and isn't actually, like, isn't actually super interested in preventing other people from being victimized. An area of that country that is imperialism. No, it is not. Imperialism is an economic system. It is the highest stage of capitalism. Oh my I god, I knew you were going to say that. The talking points. First of all, oh, sorry, it's a talking point. Lenin's, it's a talking point. Lenin's. Wait, wait. Imperialism, the highest form of capitalism, talks about the fact that capitalism inevitably leads you to imperialistic practices be on a on a on a fucking mathematical level that you must exploit in order to keep growing capitalism. And so all countries that lean into capitalism become imperialist. Like China! Like fucking China! Holy fuck! Def so first of all, you literally just talked about how we should have provided economic aid to West Germany. That would have been imperialism by the Leninist definition. No. We we should have provided economic aid oh for the whole of Germany, We're supporting the Soviet Union, and assuming that FDR didn't end up croaking, we would probably be uh, still allied with the Soviet Union. It probably would still exist today, and the United <laughs> States would have been moving forward. Socialism. Okay, so you're just uh, I, this um... is this is just Crusader Kings. Like this is just like Hearts of Iron, Hearts of Iron level. Like I'm I'm just making up my own uh, historical campaign. Uh, it's it's literally it's just it's just fucking hearts of iron brain right now is what we're seeing, okay? That's what we're witnessing. It, I guess it's ironic for. By the way, I think the cavernacle is definitely a tanky. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't even know who the cavernacle is, but I hear people mention his name. 
somebody who claims to care about material conditions for you to be rooted entirely in an imagined version of the past. Jesus Christ, you you sound like those Rhodesia fanatics in, in England, you know? Like, if only this or that had happened, I then maybe we still could have had our white supremacist... Um... You know, Matt, let's be very clear. Let's be what? Let's be very clear, Rhodesia. That is not that is not a real country. Well, I know it's you like don't think so because because that never actually happened. That was backed by the CIA. Yeah, I know you believe that because it was an English project. But if the Soviet Union had done Rhodesia, you would be talking about how they were trying to advance proletarian interests with the vanguard yes. party of the the Soviet Union. <laughs> the Soviet Union was deeply involved in an imperial struggle. And remember. Just remember, everybody, this guy is trying to tell you that Russia and the Soviet Union weren't imperialist when, while doing apologia for an explicitly imperialist war against Ukraine. Just, again, the only real, the only rational explanation is somebody who wants to continue the grift. Russian, um, Russian agents in Africa. You would talk about how Zimbabwe is like a fake state that that emerged only because of CIA involvement. Like you, the only thing you care about here is national interest. You've made that abundantly clear. You can't you can't say anything apart from like eulogizing the Soviet Union. Scale. What? I care about the progress of the working class on a global scale. I'm sure. Okay. I'm try I'm trying to get you around to one point, but I, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, okay, let me let me try this, okay? The United States is more socialist than Russia or China is, and I support NATO because they advance the self-determined interests of countries that are up. Ducky Lucy Hayes says Stalin's openly stated goal was to bring back the USSR to the borders of the Russian Empire at its peak. Stalin didn't even want it to be called the USSR, he just wanted it to be called Russia. What a surprise! Part of NATO, which is a part of Marxist thought. National okay, self-determination. the United States more socialist than any country I know it's world. crazy, right? But it's true. I genuinely believe that. What reasoning? Based on what material conditions are you talking? Well, first of all, uh, the United States is a liberal democracy, and Russia and China That's are both dictatorships. Well, I... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay, well, Vosh did say he genuinely believed this, and if he's being honest about genuinely believing this, well, that's a pretty bad argument. Liberal democracy is not closer to so uh, socialism, no. Than, than a, uh, a dictatorship, it absolutely is. Literally, Vosh, Karl Marx argued against liberalism, okay? So, no. But Russia also claims to be a democracy, and while it's false, while it's obviously verifiably false, it's also true that America has fucking all kinds. I mean, remember, just, 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 I, I'm not going to harp on this for too much because it's a my, it's a pretty minor point here, but Vosh constantly talks about how democracy is functionally dead in America, so it doesn't really make much sense to make this argument when the rest of your content is basically talking about how democracy doesn't exist. Also, democracy is not the same thing as communism. Democracy is not the same thing as socialism. There's just, I, I understand that a lot of people like democracy, but democracy as a system is not uh, like, it is neither, uh, there are socialistic structures that can be democratic. There are, uh, there are not, communism is, is uh, not democratic, not by the, the current word, because there's not supposed to be any ruling class in communism that includes a democratically elected ruling class. So the argument that, like, I just think this is a big mistake. Let's continue. He, wait, so he argued in favor. Some would say that socialism is absolute democracy. I think that's just stretching words to their limits. favor of democracy though have you have you actually read marx did you know that he um did you know marx actually but wait please please I, you haven't read marx i'll help you did you know marx actually believed that um the united states through its democracy could become a communist 
society, socialist yeah, state, whatever. One of the examples of how Karl Marx is wrong. He believes <laughs> that capitalism would naturally turn into socialism. <laughs> no, wait, no, 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 no. He generally, no, wait, he generally believes. By the way, I'm hoping this isn't happening on your side, but uh, the level of gifts is actually causing really severe artifacting in my image preview. <laughs> oh no. If the computer dies, I just know I did it for you, imps. He generally believed that violent revolution was- It's literally, I don't know, I don't think it's showing through on YouTube. I'm pretty sure it's just on my side, but there are just giant, the, all of the gifts are starting to bust. And my face is like green and purple pixels. Okay, good. I'm glad it's not, I'm glad it's not going through to YouTube, but it is on my end. Necessary, but he was so enthusiastic about American democracy, he thought it possible that it could be achieved peacefully here. An indication that Marx thought positively of democracies. As explained by Lenin, he uh, what Karl Marx got wrong was that capitalism would not inherently lead to socialism. There would be a monopoly. That's, by the way, that is not exactly what Marx said. Uh, Marx did believe that that it was the inevitable conclusion for the world to survive would be that uh, Would be that mathematically the world would have to move towards socialism or else it would never be able to progress But he didn't literally believe that like if you did nothing that it would naturally conclude that way Realization that would happen under capitalism that would create inevitably imperialism So imperialism didn't exist before capitalism Yes, empires existed, but empires and imperialism are not the same thing. What, what is the etymological root of imperialism? Could you tell me? It is monopoly capitalism at no, its no, highest no. state. The etymological root of the word imperialism. Where did it come from? I don't care about the academic... Uh, uh, it's not uh, academic. Like, it's, you, you can't argue yeah. that imperialism didn't exist under well, empires when the term pie. imperialism derived from empires. <laughs> Liberals. That is that is the the wrong definition. It is not the den definition oh, gotcha. of Lenin. Only the definition of Lenin is correct. Gotcha, gotcha. Mother Great. Mir said, um, "Thank you very, so, very much." Um, anyway, democracy is a social and principle. acolyte of the algorithm. Um, Thank you very, is, uh, very much. Th you can't really separate the two. The idea of you're very welcome, acolyte of, of, of the algorithm. I'm happy to be thought. your servant today. So, bourgeois democracy is not inherent to socialism. I didn't democracy. say bourgeois democracy. I said democracy. What the United States has is bourgeois democracy. They yeah. do not have real. Democracy. No shit. I said liberal democracy. What is a liberal democracy but bourgeois? Hey, is somehow closer to socialism when they have bourgeois democracy, which you admit. Yeah, because it's better than authoritarianism. But that doesn't mean that it is socialism. I didn't, say, I didn't say it was no, socialism. No. I said it was closer to socialism. It's not closer to socialism. It democracy, even if it's bourgeois democracy, is closer to socialism no, than uh, authoritarianism is. I think this is a... I, I understand where Vosh is coming from with this, but I do think that he's trying to get this guy mad. Because the truth of the matter is, um, I, I, I don't know that it is any closer to socialism to be a liberal democracy than it is to be in an authoritarian. Would it, is, it pref, is it more preferable to live under a liberal democracy than a uh, authoritarian, hyper-authoritarian, hyper whatever? Yeah, I would agree with that. But I don't know that it's necessary, necessarily closer to socialism because I think that they're just different systems. A liberal democracy is in, is a inherently capitalist structure. Please understand what harm reduction is. Harm reduction, okay, nuts, I get you, but um, I, I get you, but I don't think that like harm reduction is not the same thing as closer to. I think that there's a little bit of messy wordplay going on here that I don't agree with. Because uh, as we can tell, there are liberal democracies that have existed for a very, very long time and have gotten no closer to socialism. Uh, and there are also monarchies that have had uh, relatively successful socialist revolutions, even if they didn't necessarily stick around forever. So I, I don't think that that's like... Yeah, I think that there's a difference between 
uh, saying it's closer to socialism because I would agree that a liberal democracy is a much a, a significantly more preferable existence than living under like a tyrant king but like that doesn't mean you're necessarily closer to socialism isn't harm reduction used for that like harm reduction in the sense of keeping liberal democracy makes it more likely socialism can more easily happen um I think that depends on a lot of conditions right like, I don't think that it's that simple. I don't think that you can just draw a line in that way. Tons of liberal democracies stagnate. All, like, I don't know that that necessarily means you're closer to socialism. I literally said it was harm reduction. Huh? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I was trying to say that they're two different things. Like, yes, it is less harmful. Like, of course, obviously, I believe that a liberal democracy is overall less harmful to exist under than an aut autocracy but that doesn't mean it's closer to socialism yeah ha yeah exactly yes thank you somniostatic half the world is in, is trapped in a thousand year old liberal democracy yeah they don't seem to be getting any closer to socialism it depends on where you are of course i just think there's too much variance to make a statement like that this was the opinion of marx lenin and mao all three agreed that there were systems of government farther from socialism the countries that would later come about like the bathist states of like uh syria and iraq so they were referring to anti-imperial powers like iran uh they were it's referring iran to it's iran or like like uh venezuela and nicaragua that have are moving towards socialism but i have fully accomplished socialism so they as, were not to so, bourgeois democracy. as i was oh thandria uh, Thandria says, this stream feels empty. It really needs more JPEGs and GIFs. True! If you're watching right now, all you gotta do is donate and give me a link to your GIF, not your WebP or your HTML, but your GIF or image file that you would like me to put up on the screen for you, and you can join our beautiful and amazing a uh, uh, canvas of fun. We've been having a sick ass time. We still have a lot of this debate left to go and we have some more content afterwards. But before we do that, you gotta like the stream and you gotta consider donating. So let's continue. Saying if you'd read Lenin or Mao, um, you would know that they all agreed there are systems of government farther from- Obviously, okay, okay, hold on. Obviously, if you don't have money, you don't have to donate. This stream is free. Obviously, I make my show free to the public. So if you don't got the money, just fucking kick back and have a good time. But if you got cash in your pocket and you're having a good time, throw it my way. Socialism and less conducive to socialist activism than bourgeois democracy. Um, for example, fascism, that's one. No, uh, bitches. And um, imperialist autocracy. <laughs> It's under Karl Marx, so no. You wait, uh, I didn't Marx. hear you. You cut off. I know for a fact that when Karl Marx was alive, there was no fascism. That's that why I just said no. Mao and Lenin. Under Well, you also included Karl Marx, so... No, the last two people I said were Mao and Lenin, and I said that they wrote and agreed that there were systems of government further from socialism than... So included Karl Marx. What? You also included Karl Marx. You did not just talk about Lenin and Mao. You also included Karl Marx. You can't blame me for you not listening, man. Look- You can't blame me for me listening to you not knowing what the f*** you're talking about. I s specified Mao and Le Okay, it doesn't matter. So anyway, now that we've agreed that important people whose opinions you care about very much, um, uh, they believed that liberal democracy was preferable to other systems no. of government, in relation no, to socialism. We do not believe that bourgeois democracy was uh, closer to socialism. That is not true, and you know it's not true. I think Marx, I think Marx actually would have argued that. I do think that Marx would have argued that. Though I don't, I'm not a Marx scholar, but I do believe that Marx did believe that liberal democracy, and also I believe Engels believed that explicitly. Uh, Engels was kind of a big, he was kind of a lib, in a lot of ways, and I am quite sure that he would have believed that to be the case. So, uh, but again, that doesn't matter. People are wrong. You're not supposed to take these teachings as dogma. Yes, they can be greatly informative. Fuck, 
I've learned shit from Lenin. I've learned shit from fucking all kinds of people, but that doesn't mean that you take their word as law, which is of course what Marxist Leninists do, because that's part of the deal. It, that's literally part of what makes Marxist Leninists Marxist Leninists. They still call themselves Marxist Leninists because that's what Stalin wanted to call them. Ah, thank you, Syllabic. I got you. If you read these guys, they did in fact think that there were systems of government further from socialism than liberal democracy. This I'm is about the to whole bring dialect on here. I'm about to bring dough on here. They were referring to countries that would be more like Iran <sighs> or the Baathist countries or countries like Venezuela or Nicaragua. They were not talking about bourgeois democracy. They were. This is why, no, again, you can read uh, stuff that Lenin wrote on the uh, British Labour Party back in the early 20th century. You can read he stuff that Marx that wrote. Please. The British Labour Party as a means to make it eat itself. That does not mean that he supported bourgeois democracy. I did not say. Oh, my God. Please. OK, wait, please. I'm begging you. I am not saying they supported bourgeois democracy. Yo, I am saying. Thank you very no, please, much. No, listen, I can help you. I can. I'm helping. OK. I'm saying, helping? this is helping? so cute. I think it I'm helping like you. I'm, tr I'm helping. Like, I'm helping you. Please, God. I'm like Mother <laughs> Teresa. I'm leaning <laughs> down. You have brain leprosy. I'm trying to help you. The bits of your gray matter are falling off, and I'm trying to replace them. Listen, I'm not saying they supported bourgeois democracy. I am saying they preferred bourgeois. Okay, look, Vosh is being very condescending to this guy. Very condescending. No doubts about that. But unironically, I do think he's probably helping him a lot more than he's than than most other people who he's been engaging with. He's certainly helping him more than Marxist Leninists are, who literally just ripped him off of his entire life savings. And apparently he's like squatting in an alleyway as he does the stream. So I really think he should rethink whether those Marxist Leninists are really doing him any favors democracy to some literally. other systems of government they never said that and oh you literally God. did they did that. they explicitly lenin uh lenin, lenin um allied with the um social democrat liberal reformists of the um the post-russian empire when fighting against the um what are they called the black knives mao put on hold fighting against the prc so they could both resist imperial china Lenin and the Bolsheviks sided with one side of the ruling class that was against the Black first world, that for the fight against the side of the ruling class that was for continuing the first world war. It was politics. This is how politics work. I'm, At the end of the day, I'm talking the about Democrats politics. Were ripped from power. They were not unified within the Bolshevik party. They were kicked out of politics entirely. In some cases, actually imprisoned. What are you talking about? I'm only saying that both Mao and Lenin allied with um, yes, uh, uh, they uh, temporarily uh, allied with people that were part of one segment of ruling class to force the other side of the ruling class out of power. Yes. And then they now, why? Up. So why did Mao choose the PRC to fight with over Imperial Japan? And why did Lenin choose the liberal reformists over the Black Hundreds? People under the Red Revolution. What? Because the Japanese imperialists were slaughtering the people that were under the banner of the Red Revolution. Okay, so the... Okay, okay, great. So the imperial Japanese were worse than the PRC during the occupation... Wait a minute! Wait a second! This fucking tanky... This fucking tanky dude doesn't acknowledges that Japan is an imperial state, but imperial Japan was an empire and it wasn't capitalist. It was a, it was, it was grown out of a fucking monarchy. Whoa, how, how can you just, how can you spend a whole conversation saying that imperialism can only come out of capitalism and then in the same fucking conversation acknowledge and be like, oh yeah, Imperial Japan exists. It's, it's literally, it's only because Imperial Japan was against China, which is the state that he's currently standing. That is the only fucking reason. Nation of Manchuria. Oh, sorry, not the PRC, the ROC, the Republic of China. For a temporary alliance to defeat them. Okay, 
Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Yo, you motherfuckers! Oh, oh, keep going! This is some pause Andy shit! Yeah! Obviously! Obviously I'm gonna pause! What the fuck are you talking about? Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Don't fucking tell me not to pause! I'll kick your ass! I agree! Look at that! I'm pausing again just to fuck with you! So maybe... <laughs> bourgeois democracy, or liberal democracy, exists as a kind of tool that socialists can use and exploit in order to achieve real socialism, whereas systems like dictatorship and fascism uh, are harder for socialists to exploit. The difference between Japanese imperialism and, say, American imperialism is that Japan was not in the position to extract the wealth of, of the global south, the south and far east. However, the United States imperialists are in that position. They are. Yes, they fucking. Yes, they did. What are you fucking talking about? This is this is this this guy. Okay. Oh my god, I I have to remember. Tankies are idiots. They really are to a fucking man the dumbest people and most dishonest people on the planet. How can you fucking sit there and say that? Japan was not in a position to exploit when they actively conquered uh, uh, all of Korea and huge chunks of China that they were actively repressing and ruling over those places? What the fuck are you talking about? The main enemy in our time period. First of all, that has nothing to do with what I was talking about. Second of no, all, Japan was it. literally but creating the co, like, a Southeast Asian the prosperity point. sphere. They were literally creating an imperial empire at the time. They were worse than us. They slaughtered millions. America has exploitative trade deals these days. Millions. How many, how many, we did the banana wars. We, you know. Okay, are you going, wait, please tell me, wait, please tell me that America today. Uh, the wars in Iraq, the war in Afghanistan, the war in Vietnam. He's going through the list. Uh, I actually think, yeah, really, I, I genuinely really, think if you went over, like, all those wars, com all the he's not, he's not stopping. In Central America. You're trying to tell me that the U.S. imperialists are, are actually better than the Japanese imperialists or better than almost any other imperialists other than maybe the British? Okay, hold on. Real. Real? Yes, he is going through the list. Okay, guys, let me just tell you something before we get here. All right. I know you're all gonna get pause Andy, whatever. Go ahead, pause Andy the fuck out of me. They're go he's going through the fucking list. Of course he's going through the list. But it's really fucking unhelpful to do an argument about which empire was the worst. Empires fucking suck, no matter what you do, okay? No matter, it, it, yes, it, it is like, okay, what about the Pepsi versus Coke war? It's really unhelpful. This is why I really think, this is why I think that like liberal and tanky analysis are one of the reasons why they fail and why anarchists, based anarchists come out on top because they recognize that imperialism in all of its forms is bad. Let's go. Real quick, even if you added all of those together, yeah. I do think that America is a hell of a lot better than the Imperial no, Japanese. I know you don't think that because America bad is your it's only not, like ideology, you but with a logical position because you're a national chauvinist that supports <laughs> the United States no matter what. <laughs> Are you a pro rape of Nanking? Um, out of curiosity, I don't know what that is. I cannot fucking believe this. Holy fucking God. How can you even be engaged in a conversation on this and not know what the rape of Nanking is? Here, you know what? Let's just, here we go, here we go.
All right, everybody, here we go. We're, this is our chance. We're gonna do a little, hold on. We have to pause from the silliness for a second, okay? I'm sorry, forgive me. Forgive me for one moment, okay? Hello, hello. You are looking at just Demon Mama right now, you see? Okay, see me? I am going to read you something, okay? I want you to listen to this, okay? This is for anybody out there in the community who doesn't know anything about the rape of Nan Nanking, also known as the Nanjing Massacre. I just want you to understand what the hell actually happened. So here's a little bit of historical learning. I'm putting all the gifts away for a second so we can be serious, okay? And I'm just gonna read you right now so you can see where I'm reading this from. I'm gonna read this directly from Wikipedia. So you can go read more and you can go check out all of the historical sources, okay? I'm gonna be a Wikipedia Andy for tonight, okay? Because I did not expect that I would have to do at literally the most basic historical education imaginable, okay? Listen up, okay? The Nanjing Massacre, or the Rape of Nanking, was a mass murder of Chinese civilians in Nanjing, the capital of the Republic of China, immediately after the Battle of Nanjing, in the Second Sino-Japanese War by the Imperial Japanese Army. Beginning on December 13th, 1937, the massacre lasted for six weeks. The perpetrators committed other atrocities such as mass rape, looting, and arson. The massacre was one of the worst atrocities of, of World War II. Due to a myriad of factors, the death tolls estimate from anywhere between 40,000 to 300,000 in a single massacre. 40,000 to o between 40 to over 300,000 people killed in a single stretch of violence by perpetrated against the Chinese people by the Japanese Empire. Most credible scholars in Japan, which include a large number of authoritative academics, support the validity of the International Military Tribunal for the Far East and its finding, findings, which estimate 200,000 murders of civilians and 20,000 cases of rape, obviously of civilians. Although the massacre is generally described as having occurred over a six-week period after the fall of Nanjing, the crimes committed by the Japanese army were not limited to that period. Many atrocities were reported to have been committed as the Japanese army advanced from Shanghai to Nanjing. According to one Japanese journalist embedded with the Japanese imperial forces at the time, uh, this is a quote, the reason that the 10th Army is advancing to Nanjing quite rapidly is due to the tacit consent among the officers and men that they can loot and rape as they wish. That is a Japanese Imperial journalist reporting that that was the case. Okay? Oh my God, this isn't here. Let me show you something. Wait, I won't be able to show you this. Hold on. On this page, okay? On this page is a article about how the, the, um, about how the, the Japanese officers were offering a, a contest. A, there would be rewards if you managed to kill a hundred Chinese people with a sword. That was a, the Japanese officers were offering rewards as a contest. You kill a hundred, a hundred Chinese people with a sword, you get a reward. And there's literally photos of people executing people by sword to try and uh, win the contest. So I just wanted to take a little moment to point out how phenomenally atomically stupid Yankee Tanky is. And by the way, this is par for the course for fucking tankies. These people, to a man, know nothing about the history on which they pontificate, okay? They don't know shit. And not only that, but what's worse, what's worse than their ignorance is the fact that they usually lie. And all of this is in service of propping up a personality cult around Stalin. Holy fuck. Holy shit.
Also, Worshipper of the Olympian says, don't look up Unit 731. Most people are aware of Unit 731. Unit 731 was uh, the human experimentation wing of the Japanese Imperial Army, which involved uh, numerous uh, recorded cases of vivisections, uh, experimentations with gangrene on living human war, uh, war prisoners, um, uh, in, uh, also, uh, uh, for the, like, uh, what they were called, they were called frostbite, uh, frostbite studies or something along that line where they would basically take prisoners of war, civilians often, and they would put them in freezing rooms to try and learn about how frostbite develops differently on Chinese people versus Japanese people. It is so disgusting. And that's, and by the way, that is separate from the rape of Nanking. Brim, Brim 15 says the Nanjing massacre was so bad that a businessman and Nazi party delegate stationed there reported on the mass death and war crimes and apparently tried to get them to stop. It was just so awful. And remember, this guy is it doesn't know about that because he's convinced that Imperial Japan isn't a true empire because it doesn't fit the definition necessary for him to justify uh, China being the best. He doesn't even know what was done to the Chinese people. This is why, by the way, this is why anarchoids and even liberals call tankies like the worst of the genocide deniers. This is why. This is why people say that they're just putting a red coat of paint on it. They're supposedly arguing for China and they don't even know what happened to China. It's so self-defeating. Oh my God, it's, oh, oh my God. I'm, I gotta, I gotta calm myself down. All right, all right, all right. Back to the gift screen, everybody. Let's take a breather. Let's take a fucking breather. Holy fucking shit. Wait, he denigrates the Japanese empire to try and simp for China. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let me explain real quick what happened. What happened was he doesn't know what the rape of Nanking is. Vosh called him out that he is vilifying Imperial Japan as an empire, even though it doesn't meet his definition of empire that he used in the past. At the beginning of the conversation, Vosh tried to make the case that China is an empire, that Russia is an empire, and he said, no, it's not. They're communist countries. They're not empires because you have to be capitalist to be an empire. But then when it came to the conflict between Russia and, I mean, between China and Japan, Yankee Tanky argued that, uh, well, yeah, Japan was an empire, but, you know, it's not really the same type of empire. So, yeah, it was bad, but I don't want to admit that China could be an empire because that would make me look stupid. So, in the name of trying to look good, in the name of trying to put a red coat of paint and insist that modern China is a communist country, he downplays actual war crimes again. Yeah, I gave my joint to the Yankee Tanky because he needs it more. Yankee Tanky needs my joint more than I do. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Yankee Tanky really does. He needs my he needs my joint more than I do. Holy shit. Um Wow. Um I will pen this main. I will add it right Jesus. now. Jesus. Uh yeah. Chat, where do I go where do I go next? Um we are at. We have officially reached sixty <laughs> gifts. Thank no, you very much, everyone. Um, what a blast! How's your day going? So, why do you support Ukraine? Why do you actually Yo, support Ukraine? Yo, Post Patrol, thank you so much. I will get that right <laughs> I in. Could, I could answer, Yo, but Neil you're banging not out like the it. tunes. You're gonna have some weird. I'm Neil you banging out the so tunes. Knock it down, so go ahead and answer. Oh, okay. Because the people of Ukraine, come on, Neil, come hang out with me, buddy. Don't want to be invaded by Russia. That's why. That's that's at the end of the day. That's the only reason. 
region. Uh, 14,000 of them wanted to be slaughtered by the Azov Battalion and other <laughs> Nazi... I said, he's gotta have a weird... Ass. Like, what the f*** does this have to do with not wanting them to get invaded? Like, it's, like, totally tangential. So, again... Brain rot. That's what it is. It's brain rot. This is what... This is what... Uh, be in, in this is what it feels like. This is what it looks like to see somebody who's been dipped very deeply into indoctrination and doesn't know how to think outside of reciting what they've been indoctrinated with. That is that is what you are witnessing here. It is the reason why you can have these really cringe conversations with like fundamentalist Christians and they come off sounding just like this. They're just like, well, well, you know, Satan must have buried those dinosaur bones. And you're like, what? And it's just because they don't know how to react to things that they haven't been explicitly prepared for. And so they default back to just quoting Bible verses at you. Or in this case, repeating the party line. The reason I support them is because they don't want to be invaded by Russia. No weird so Azov analogy can, like, no parallel can take away from that. Thank you. By the way, thank you very, very much for your incredible generosity, worshiper of the Olympians. You are Pog. Genuinely, thank you so much. You've been so generous. Massive, massive, massive thank you to you. It was Donbass Republic. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, because because there's, see, there's not, like, an actual answer here, right? The, pr the funny thing is that the Marxist principle of self-determination is critical to, like, mainstream socialist thought, but that's, like, totally inapplicable to these chauvinists. Um, uh, I'm the chauvinist. Yeah, I'm the chauvinist, not you that supports U.S. empire and imperialism, sure. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, dude, I'm sorry, but you did genocide denial multiple times tonight. I, unironically. Like, no bad faith Reno. This this Yankee tanky guy did a lot of genocide de genocide denial. He downplayed the crimes of Assad. He downplayed unintentionally the crimes of of Japan. He's downplayed the crimes of Russia, and now he's and he's also of course downplayed the crimes of China. It's pathetic. It's fucking pathetic. Uh, Twitchy pause. Maybe I missed yours. Can you just resend me the link? Go ahead and resend me the link there, Twitchy Pause. Can you define chauvinist? A chauvinist, it comes from a, it's, it's, a, it's a slang term that's become very popular. Um, it comes from the name of a guy whose last name was Chauvin, and it basically means, it basically means like a, more or less means like a, a patriarchal, like white, white supremacist. It's somebody who thinks that like the West is the best and that nobody else has done it better and that the West will inherit the earth. It's that type of thing. It's, it's a slang term that's become really, really popular recently. It doesn't have like a single hard definition. It basically means bigot, but specifically a bigot who thinks that the West is better than everybody else. Yeah. No, it wasn't Derek Chauvin. I can't remember. I want to say his name was like some French name. Yeah. It just means white at this point? No, it doesn't. It specifically means somebody who tries to basically be like, America and Europe are the best, bro. It was Nicholas Chauvin. Yeah, French guy. That's what I thought. Now I'm going to have to... Uh, if you guys keep poking at me, I'll have to look it up on Wikipedia. Just look it up. Look up chauvinist on Wikipedia after you're done. Uh, if you want to know the history of the term. But basically, if you don't care about the history of the term, it basically means that you're a bigot who thinks Europeans are better than everybody else. And usually also patriarchal as well, because those things usually go hand in hand. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Sure. It does. Sure. It genuinely does outside of your bubble, you know. You're you're like a Nazi grasping for air. I'm like, did you did you know that the transnational banking class is universal? And you're like, uh, but the the Jews, like you, you you're like completely uh, it's I'm trying to explain to a fish what water is. Like you're so um you know You're trying to explain why we should support US imperialism. No, That's I just said doing. that I support Ukraine in this war because they don't want to be invaded by Russia. Because they are a puppet of the US government. They have sure. been a puppet of the US government since twenty fourteen. Sure. Yes. Sure. sure. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. That's uh -huh. what they do. Maybe I mean, this is, again, a completely bankrupt worldview. You should be able to acknowledge why lots of people would support Ukraine, 
it's fairly apparent. It's not exactly like, like, there was no aggression that started this war from Ukraine, none at all. Even if you want to argue that there was political pressure mounting, it was very clear who started the war, Russia. Russia moved in and claimed two fucking provinces of Ukraine and Russia has fucking mass murdered Ukrainian civilians. They're invading civilian space and killing and blowing up civilians right now. And this motherfucker cannot acknowledge that. All he can think is, oh, you only support those people because you're American, which is fucking stupid. And not, it's not only stupid, it's offensive. God, fuck these people. Maybe we should, okay, let's try a new tactic, okay? I support Ukraine because I'm an American chauvinist and I want America to conquer the world. Um, I believe America's true socialism, um, the founding fathers with their constitution enshrined socialism into the law of the land. And I think that you're a fascist and I think that uh, uh, you're, you're a revisionist. And uh, yeah, we're going to do global American socialism. Oh, I'm the revisionist. The, 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 unironically, the yes. You're yes, unironically, yes. Unquestionably, yes. This guy, okay, when this guy hears the word revisionism, now, just so you all know, revisionism is a term that's very popular in tanky circles. They like to call each other revisionists because basically they're, whenever they call somebody another tanky or another leftist a revisionist, they mean you disagree with my favorite writer. That's what they mean when they say revisionist. But what Vosh is saying is that he's a historical revisionist, meaning he's rewriting history to fit his arguments and obviously verifiably lying. And we know that. The guy didn't even know about the rape of Nanking, and he was trying to talk extensively about uh, the, the state of Imperial Japan. He's just stupid and dishonest. You're actually the most revisionist human in existence. There's nobody more revisionist than you. Revisionism doesn't exist. That's first off, okay? Wait, 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 what did you just say? Yeah, revisionism is not a thing. <laughs> Material conditions change, therefore your ideology should change based on Oh, this is Christian logic. This is straight up Christian moon logic. This is the type of stuff that says no, morality flows from God. Wait a minute, there's literally a quote? There's literally a scene in Midnight Mass that that does this, where it says, no, no, uh, uh, morality, uh, you know, God does not change. The old covenant was the old morality, and the new covenant is the new morality. Since God, since from God flows morality, then it is fine. God has not changed. It does not matter if he, if the rules are different now than they were, because God is the one who determines morality. And this guy uses material conditions, a total vapor word, a word that has no hard meaning at all. Material conditions can mean fucking anything. And he uses that to say, morals don't matter. Uh, principles don't matter. It's whatever is useful to justify the growth of the state that I have chosen. That is literally what it all boils down to. So fucking, oh, so intellectually bankrupt. So pathetic. This 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 man, his whole family and his entire town would have been shot in fucking uh, Stalinist Russia, dude. Holy shit! This it would not have been enough for them to have gotten you, man. They would they, they would have fucking nuked your home village. Jesus Christ! Oh God! Mm. You okay. Actually, are supporting U.S. imperialism. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Uh, NPC dialogue line reset. It's like ending a convo with a Skyrim NPC and then restarting it, and they get you get the same opening line from them. Why, thank you, kind sir. Spare a coin for a beggar. Spare a coin for a beggar. Why, thank you, kind sir. By Azura, by Azura, by Azura. If it isn't the Grand Master of the Arena. Um, yeah, so anyway, I support Ukraine because I want them to kill all Russians because that's good for America or something. I don't know. What do you think? Maybe if you stop supporting U.S. imperialism and actually viewed outside of your national chauvinist lens, we would actually be able to get through your thick skull of what things are actually like in the what, world. What, uh, what if America is socialism? Then My lovely, lovely imps. If you are here, please press like on the stream. It's as easy as clicking the stream and then 
pressing the little like button. All of the likes deeply help. And consider throwing in a couple of bucks if you want to have a GIF on the screen. If you want to have your GIF, join the Maximalism Madness. All you got to do is just donate with the link to the GIF. Please, please be a GIF. I can't use HTML or WebP. But if it's a GIF, I'll put it on the screen for you. Thank you very much and much love to all of you for supporting my free show uh, as we have a lot of fun tonight. Let's get right back to it. Much love to you. And wouldn't you actually be the imperialist? India and China are now working together against the United States. As fascists, yeah. Of the system the United States has implemented where it keeps the, uh, the global... Nobody go look. Nobody go look at what type of government is currently in charge in India. Nobody go look at the literal ethnic cleansing that is currently going on in in nor in in kashmir nobody go look at that oh my god that would be terrible it would be terrible if india and china were both locked arms in arms committing a genocide against minority muslim populace wouldn't that be a fucking nightmare if that was the case south and far east of press extracts the wealth and then pays the labor aristocracy in the united states which is people like you Vosh. we have to you do all of that to build labor. socialism all of that yeah, is necessary totally for socialism. socialism if you sit on your stream so yeah you're so building socialism right now Vosh. yeah <laughs> yeah and and the best part is you actually believe it yeah you actually believe it i'm doing what okay 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 bro you are, you are, this is so fucking cringe coming from a guy who is currently squatting in an alleyway on his iPhone because he gave all of his life savings, all of his money and years of his life to Caleb Maupin's revolutionary communist organization that literally just paid for Caleb Maupin's rent and lunch. They never accomplished anything. They never made any major political victories. And this guy is getting smug right now. Holy shit. You know what, guys? I'm so fucking thankful. I am, you all might think that I'm the most arrogant, self, you know, uh, you know, God complex having demon that you've ever met. But I just want you to remember, people like this exist. The arrogance on display is beyond compare. The lack of self-awareness is beyond compare. Oh yeah, and also, yeah, don't want to forget that. The spanking, that we're also paying for that. They were also helping him uh, isolate, abuse, and, and pay and he didn't even pay his full amount that he owed, but pay a little bit at least towards a dominatrix that he forced into sex, into functional sex slavery. Just. Too fucking good. On socialism per minute over here, we're achieving very high rates of socialism, yes. As an American, well, only Americans slug. can be socialist actually, because other nations are, what would somebody like you say? Other nations are, um, are, are, are path. Aw, oh, thank you, Sparkle Cat. Pathogenically, um, imperialist to their core and, uh, 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 reactionary, um, bourgeois states, uh, un you, until you, they're reformed or something. Things, like it's sarcastic, but you actually believe them. And that's uh -huh. the crazy thing. That's the crazy thing. Yeah. I this guy should not be calling anybody crazy straight up just bro holy fuck you are you the uh, the stunning lack of self-awareness is just oh my dear fucking god you uh -huh. say it sarcastically but you actually believe in it uh-huh so what's yep. so what's next so what's next what's next in what context um well it seems like i'm winning U.S. is still on top. China is having a housing crash. They're going to have a population dip once their um, population boom, like, let's lower numbers. Um, India is um, 
not even like fully committing to support Russia in the conflict. Neither is China. They're both kind of like dropping them like a, like an ugly stepsister. Like you are so coping right now. The United States is experiencing a massive decline. You know, the material conditions, we have roads that are being reclaimed all across this country, turning back into dirt roads. We have... Uh, yeah, that's called uh, environmental. My man. My man is not fucking paying attention. Oh, Yankee tanky, bro. It's like San Antonio, Texas, that... You know, last year, you know, where the water supply was poisoned. We have, you know, Flint, Michigan, that still doesn't they have were clean water. We have uh, highways that are falling apart. We have rail systems. Bourgeois that are highways. You're talking about all these systems, right? Or, or rather, I'm talking about all these systems that are collapsing right in front of our eyes right now. And yeah. you actually think, well, China is out there building high speed rail. While Russia is advancing the uh, their oil production, while <laughs> whoop, uh oh, uh oh, uh, Russia, Russia, uh, a, a dictatorship that has no, that literally doesn't even try to pretend that it's communist because it's not because they're explicitly not communist. Well, they're uh, they're upping their oil production. Do you do you see how stupid the ML line of thought leads you to be? Unironically, it is a it is a system of thought that fails completely just on every level this fucking shit fails How do you get yourself to a point where you are arguing in favor of a, a Explicitly non-communist country with imperial desires that is currently invading and massacring civilians and your argument as well They're building up their oil production you are a fascist. That is it. You believe in national, hyper-nationalist, patriarchal, uh, 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 fucking dominance politics. You just like it when it's colored fucking red. That's it. It's that simple. It really is that fucking simple. Uh, you know, you have countries like yeah, Russian oil is doing great right now. <laughs> We have the United States collapsing, and you think... Can you, wait, wait, can you imagine if, like, an American, if, like, if, can you imagine if, like, some fucking dude, like, wheeled up in his, in his, uh, in his fucking pit vipers and his, like, shitty-ass American flag Trump t-shirt was like, Yeah, America is the, is the future of freedom because we're starting to drill in Alaska. He would be laughed out of the room by every leftist. Any leftist that gives these fucking assholes fucking space to breathe? Oh my god, it is one of my biggest regrets. One of my biggest fucking regrets was when I first came into this space, and admittedly, I was relatively new to leftism. Um, because, you know, you all know my past. One of my biggest mistakes was the amount of, of, of good faith that I directed towards tankies. Even though so many of them just kept turning out to be fucking cult leaders and fucking genocide deniers, I still wanted to hope that it wasn't a it wasn't a completely flawed system of thought. But I really think it is. The United States uh, is on top. That's uh, insane. Yeah, you are. Absolutely we insane. we don't have money for infrastructure because we're spending all of it on socialism. We don't have money because we're spending on the military-industrial complex. The we socialist mil money. Wait, the military-industrial complex owned by the government? Socialism. The f did you even say? The military-industrial complex. It's uh, uh, controlled by the DOD. The can we can we find out real quick? I mean, obviously he doesn't care because this guy is just completely blinded by his ideological weak spots. But like. Do you want to know how, how much do you think China spends on their military every year? That's the military industrial complex. It's the military industrial complex when China does it too. Just because they put the word communist in front of it doesn't mean it's not the fucking military industrial complex. It's the same shit. Largest employer in the United States, aka state-owned enterprise, aka socialism. Uncle Gumbald comes in and says, wow, that's a lot of gifts. It's not enough gifts. You should throw some money at me so you can have more gifts up on the screen. 
socialism is not just state enterprise. That's yes, state is. capitalism. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Also, but, you're a visionist. Uh, also, you're an idiot. Okay, so let's be very f***ing clear. All right? The United States is collapsing. It is decaying uh -huh. right now. People's economic material conditions are decreasing. More and more people are homeless. Uh -huh. You try to tell me the United States is on top when you drive through Seattle and you see a town of tents. When you drive through Los Angeles and you see a, a, a city of tents on the sidewalk and you really think that the United States is doing better. Meanwhile, you have countries like China as building the the the, the four uh, I hear the three or four school. Wait, does he think that these does he think that that homelessness and and tent cities don't exist in China? Does he really think that? Does he think that slums don't exist in China? Like I agree that America is not the best. I'm not the one making the meme argument that Vosh is making at this point. However, uh this is a s incredibly stupid argument to make that really is not is not making any progress in the direction that he thinks it is. It really 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 isn't. Yeah, of course, like China has infamous anti-homeless architecture. Like this is fucking stupid. What a what a stupid Oh god, they just This guy should just go to China. I know that that's like a low blow that like lots of people do to like every single person who claims to be a leftist. They're like, "Well, if you're a leftist, why don't you go live in Iran then?" or some stupid shit like that. But unironically, I don't know how else someone like this can like can can be confronted with the fact that they've invented an imaginary country. They've in invented an imaginary, it's, you know what it is? It's like weeaboos, unironically. It's like what weeaboos do with Japan, where they think that it, that like Japan is an amazing, is an amazing wonderland, where when they go there, they're gonna see Gundams everywhere they look and, and, and Goku will bring them breakfast in the morning. And then, and they're gonna have an, a, like 600 uh, uh, Moe anime waifus. And this guy just does that, but with communist China. Just go, go visit, go visit and see for your fucking self. George Dam, that is the, the largest dam that has ever been built by human beings in the world. You think that countries like China and Russia that are working together to develop fusion energy, you really seriously think that they're the ones that are declining? I don't think they would, Mixed Dizzy. I really don't think they would. They didn't pad, they didn't pad uh, uh, Moppin's pockets. Maupin made fucking jack shit from Russia. We know that he was paid by Russia. He worked for Russia today for like 10 years. And he didn't get, and he was fucking poor as shit. So, uh, turns out, maybe the money isn't so good in being a state shill. And it's not the United States that doesn't even have uh, proper uh, clean water. It's we funny, it's, it's funny how you would say, it's funny how you would say the collapse of the United States is bad for America when the dissolution of the state is a prerequisite for communism. Look who's the communist now. The true conditions of the United States and working people is getting worse for this country. I don't want working people in this country to suffer. I want a government that actually represents working people and not multinational corporations. The very exact thing that you say that you support because you're supposedly some sort of socialist, no, right? We need the multinational oh corporations to take the wealth back that's been uh, extracted from the West. Say it again? We need the multinational corporations to take back the wealth that's been taken from the West by countries like Nicaragua and um, Guam. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's the uh, so <laughs> thank you very so, much exoskeletal patchwork. Let me get that on for you. Imperialism, right? To supposedly build back the labor aristocracy in the country. Do you, do you know how many dollars worth of bombs we gave to Laos for free? <laughs> Wow, all right, all right, all right, all right, that fucking, that isn't funny. That's shitty, dude. Why? Why? Why do you do that? Oh, I hate it when he does that. I hate it when Vosh makes a joke that he, that is supposed to be parodying the person that he's arguing with, but it's actually just a Nazi joke. I know it's a bit, but it's such a stupid bit to do. Like, you could just make fun of him on his own terms. You don't have to pretend to be a Nazi, ironically, to, to, it's just, oh, God, oh, oh.
That's so stupid. It's not just who he is. No. They don't realize it's a bit, but nor does anybody else who's watching. It do ah, it's such, no. That's so stupid. Oh. That's where the reason- It's kind of funny. Yeah, it's, okay. It's funny in the same way as when somebody makes a shocking and horrible racist joke. It's just not very helpful. That's why I'm against Joe Biden <laughs> selling weapons to Saudi or Arabia to bomb the Yemenis people, right? And that's part of the reason why I'm- Like, yeah, it could make you laugh in the moment because you can't believe that somebody said it. But also, like, I mean, I will say it's pretty clear he's not being serious, but it doesn't really help, okay? It really doesn't. Like making a making a joke about how the U.S. massacred Laos that make you're you're it's literally stooping to to the tankies level. It just is. Like I understand he's doing a bit, but it is stooping to their level. Glad <laughs> that Saudi Arabia is now moving in the direction to be part of BRICS, so they. All right, everybody, this is your opportunity, a live opportunity to weird champ the shit out of nuts. I want to see the biggest spam of weird champ at nuts that I've ever seen. Go ahead. Give him the fucking weird champ. Come on. They are no longer part of this U.S. imperialist <laughs> system. I'm glad that Israel and, and Saudi Arabia are selling off the reserves of the U.S. dollar. And I'm glad that they're buying the Chinese yuan. Because that you. means Thank eventually you. these countries are going to move in a direction that actually takes care of their people instead of oppressing them. Um, yeah, taking care of their people through um, uh, degenerate bourgeois um, uh, uh, pacification, which supplants class consciousness. American economic austerity is designed to maximize class consciousness, which is why America is the most pro-labor union oh, and pro-socialist so country on earth. Strong communist party and socialist party of America during the times of you know the la like the last few decades, right? You know when U.S. empire was expanding and bombing all these different countries, right? That's Liberated. why. Thank you, Nandra itself. The Socialist Party of America was at its height, right? No, it was at its height during the 1930s and 1940s, coming out of the Great Depression. The largest that party in the United States today is a communist party. When the labor aristocracy is weak, that is when the, uh, the United States Here, has Here comes strong, the dark brand uh, joke. Like class tendencies within the country. If you think Why are we weird champing nuts again? Because nuts is being a dumb shit. Uh, listen, we all love nuts, but you know, sometimes nuts just says something really stupid. And when he says something, when Nut says something stupid, well, then you get a weird champ. That's how it goes. We got two more gifts. Thank you very much, 85 2D Derek. I'm about to get yours in. We got the Trump looking at the, looking at the thing, and we got this angry wiggler Voosh. I'm gonna put the angry wiggler Voosh right next to Voosh here. Go. Let's get this one in here. We're gonna squeeze in Donald Trump right here. Hey, thank you for the relative financial stability. Oh my God, that's so cute. Blaith pet. I love Blaith. He's so good. We are at 66 gifts right now. What a beautiful night it's been. What a great fun night it's been. I've been excited to, to stream this all day. You guys, I know, but I've been actually, I was really excited to stream today. Thank you all for supporting me so much. Don't ever say that again, Diamond King. That's a bad word. Poss Patrol, thank you so much. As local Poss Patrol, I'm noting a lack of opossums on screen. This is highly illegal. Well, thank you for thank you, officer, for correcting things. I will now I will now make sure that we we are we are on uh, the regulation level of of possums. Let me get this possum on here so that we are at reg we meet regulation. I would not want to get fined for not having a possum on my screen. That would make me very sad. I hate fines. I'm not classist against opossums. Nobody's given me one, though. Aw, thank you so much, Ugly Pie. We've been having a fucking sick-ass time. The last few streams have been bangers. Let's continue. If class consciousness is at an all-time low in the U.S., then how did Biden win with record high votes in 2020? Are you seriously suggesting that Joe Biden was a vote of class consciousness? Are you suggesting he wasn't? Yes. Nandra, uh, thank you very much. I'll get this one right in. That's not a class conscious vote. People voted for Joe Biden because they were sick of Donald Trump. That was it. 
uh, the vote for Joe Biden was a victory for the working class okay. over the... So this guy, we are now, okay, I'm going to be warning, 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 warning. I am now going to be mildly a ableist, okay? Because what we are coming up against is the wall of autism. I am sorry, but it is true. It is 100% true right here. This guy is incapable of recognizing that he's being made fun of right now. And so we are witnessing what happens when you cannot recognize that you're being made fun of. It is a, it is the wall of autism. I'm sorry, but it is just true. I love, I literally, I love all of my autists so much, but it is so fucking true that that is what is happening right now. So please forgive me but it's true, okay? And it's not, I'm not actually being ableist because ev everyone involved here is neurodivergent, okay? Oh no, is it still, is it gonna get worse? Oh no, there's so much more time left in this debate. It's gonna get worse, isn't it? Uh, liberal reactionaries who supported Donald Trump. Uh, were only China and India capable of following in our footsteps? If Russia could, they wouldn't be in the quagmire they're in right now as the glorious only some spectrum people are like that yes that's true but i am willing to i am i'm sorry i'm willing to hazard a guess that this isn't this is the the wall of autism at this moment sorry let's just say vosh also takes the ableism pill oh boy um socialist vanguard of ukraine pushes back their weak and inept invasion attempts as our socialist himars rain down uh, thermokinetic bombs on your ammo depots. Yeah, let's be very clear. Ukraine bans socialist and communist parties. How could they possibly be a, a glorious vanguard of a country that are literally banning and killing communists? They're not killing any communists. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. They've, they've killed communists. They've killed, uh, killed Roma people. They've they're not killing. Vosh is about to say they're not killing communists because Russians aren't communists, if which killed, is uh, true. Uh, they've dared to kill uh, Ukrainian citizens that just happen to be more on the side of Russia. Which than is Ukraine. literally, I know he's kind of trolling, but that's literally true. Russia isn't and hasn't been a communist country in a really fucking long time. No, they haven't. They have, and they've slaughtered so many freaking people. Yes, they have. No, and Ukraine you has not killed a single what? person. Okay, clearly All Russian casualties have been due to friendly fire, such as the ineptitude of the fake socialist bourgeois capitalist state of Russia. The oligarchs I'm have not trained their men well. The character of you right now, which is pretty fucking funny, because you basically you're you're not having. Any okay, yes, they tech. Yes, it is true they have never been a communist country, but I mean they haven't even been an an aspiring communist country. They don't call themselves communist anymore. They're not even, they're not trying. You could at least argue that at least when they were calling themselves communists, there was some effort there. An intellectually honest conversation with me right now. Rockfish00, welcome to the website chat. What the hell am I watching? You are watching the beauty of a maximalism stream. A maximalism stream is a stream where anyone who donates can request a GIF or an image to go up on the stream screen so long as it is safe for work or safe for stream i guess and we make a canvas together as we react to some content we make it sillier and sillier as the night goes on and we just have a good time it lets us turn off our brains and enjoy the madness for a while and actually interestingly sometimes we talk about really interesting and informative stuff anyway despite the chaos so i hope you're having a good time i hope you'll come in and get comfy and uh welcome to the chat <laughs> What you're doing is uh, creating the most sarcastic points that, that you don't actually even believe in the first place to uh, try to argue against my position at this point. That's all you're doing. I'm just trying to match the tone. It's something autistic people do when they're in mixed company. I'm just trying to match the level of uh, retardation present in this conversation so wow. that we can communicate on the same level. That, that clearly... <laughs> What you what you're saying right now? That's that's not that's not ableist at all. 
<laughs> Ableism isn't real. Socialism requires a frank, candid, and scientific understanding of the distinction between retards and non-retards, exemplified by this conversation, determined largely by whether a person agrees with me or not. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. I appreciate, I appreciate at least that he's being incredibly obvious that he's being facetious here. I will appreciate, I do appreciate that. But you all know how I feel about that fucking slur. Can you just admit that you've lost this debate? How could I Clearly. lose? Oh, dude, come on, don't do this. No, don't do this. Don't do the co live coping. The conversation hasn't ended. Don't do that. No, Yankee Tanky, no! I'm American. Yankee Tanky won this debate. The Red Phoenix is rising. We have defeated Vosh. This character can't stand and bring an argument against us. It is clear to me that the Yankee Tanky has won. We are victorious! Going in, comrades! I'm gonna need to play that back. I'm gonna need to play that back real quick. I'm sorry. I, I really need to play this. I, I, am I, am I awake? Am I, am I awake and alive? Is this real right now? Or did I just slip into another universe in which this is like an actual gladiatorial match? I thought most of the madness, see, this is the interesting thing about, about maximalism streams. You always think that the madness will come from the gifts. The madness will come from me spamming <laughs> sound effects while I'm talking, B -buzzing. pressing that, that, all kinds of, you're talking about. you know, B -b doing this kind of thing. But the madness never actually comes from the sound effects, from the crosstalk, or from the gifts. It always comes from the conversation itself. Let's hear it again. Debate. How could I Clearly, lose? I'm American. Yankee won this debate. The Red Phoenix is rising. We have defeated Vosh. This character can't stand and bring an argument against us. It is clear to me that the Yankee Tanky has won. We are victorious. Going in, comrades. I feel like we witnessed we just witnessed his psyche break in real time. That that was like a that was like a, a genuine psyche breaking moment. I don't think there was any any like um in like a voluntary action going on there. I think what took over was like a a a a, a, a uh, animalistic response, fear response that resulted in a incoherent war shout that's a healthy adaptation using LARP? I don't think it is. I'm sorry, but I cannot imagine fucking up a conversation that hard and then at the end screaming that the Red Phoenix rises, stand together my comrades, and then screaming at the top of your mouth into your phone mic while you're hiding in a alleyway after just leaving a, a cult that fleeced you for all that you're worth. Wait, he was in Vosh's chat again? Oh my God, wait, for real? Oh my God, wait, is this really him? Holy shit, everybody. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. I got to bring these up. How do I... Hold on. I got to try and bring these up where you can all see them. Hold on. What the fuck? Hold on. Let me see if I can bring this shit up. Hold on. I don't want to hide the... I don't want to hide the gifts. I don't want to hide the gifts. But at the same time... Can you guys see that? Look, look, peer through the gifts, and you can see this is a huge log of him screaming in all ta- Oh no, he had a psychic break. Okay, I'm gonna read these. Okay, everybody? 
I'm gonna do a dramatic reading of these things real quick. Voshites coping, Yankee tanky rising fire, 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 Red Phoenix rising fire, 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 Russia flag, Russia flag, Russia flag, Russia flag, China flag, China flag, China flag, China flag, China is based, Russia is based, down with the neocon Bosch, Yankee tanky rising fire, 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 Red Phoenix rising down with the neocon Bosch, Bosch is a neocon, the Yankee tanky is rising, Red Phoenix rising fire, 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 Bosch is a neocon, fire. Fire, 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 fist, fist, fist. Uh, that happens again. And then it continues here. Cope, Voshites, fire, fire, fire. China is base, Russia is base. China, 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 Russia, Russia, Russia. Vosh is a neocon. American flag, American flag, American flag, American flag. Vosh is a neocon, Vosh is a neocon, Vosh is a neocon, Vosh is a neocon. Yankee tanky rising, Red Phoenix rising. China and Russia is base. Fire, fire, fire. And then it says that again. And then he says, he proceeds to say, I will never go away. You can't stop me. I'm all the way up. I'm gonna need to just keep doing what you need to do so y'all are forced to keep talking about me. Keep talking about me. Keep hating me. Keep seething and you will bring me to popularity. Yankee tanky uh, rising. I will keep using Vosh and his community to help me gain popularity and power. You are my bitches. I'll just make another account. You can't get rid of me. I am literally unstoppable. I am a literal fucking god. You want to kill me, but you can't kill a god. Fuck the CIA and the imperialism they stand for. Anyhow, everyone give me money at Cash App and then his name PayPal at the Yankee Tanky. Give me money and I won't get banned. I, the Yankee Tanky, demand tribute. I demand tribute. Send me money now. I want. I don't want your love. I want your money. Oh, some of those were before the debate? Oh, boy. How do you even respond to that? Well, remember how I said that this guy just, it's pretty clear this guy just wants to be the new Caleb Maupin? Because, holy fuck. Holy shit. Oh, this guy was arguing an offline VGG? Dude, that's the worst idea ever. It's actually incredibly depressing. It would be more depressing if it wasn't clear that this guy wants to replicate what Maupin did immediately. So I don't really feel all that bad. But also, doesn't this just speak to the toxicity of ML spaces? Doesn't, just, doesn't this just scream that the fact that these spaces are not filled with a single, like, caring or empathetic or, or reasonable person? That these spaces are full of grifters Endless fucking uh, uh, violence, violence obsessed uh, grifters who've never actually been or care about the history of the places that they that they talk about all the time. All they're looking for is a sense of belonging that they can use to grift one another of money so that they can fucking buy uh, uh, dubiously sourced spankings. Holy fuck. Wait, all of those chats... Wait, were some of those from Bosch's chat right now? It looks like you... Oh, you just saw his September logs. You didn't even look at the August logs. Oh. Wait, wait. Somebody send me the other logs. Wait, are these the more recent ones? Wait, hold on a second. Let me see the more recent ones. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh my God, there's a lot of these. Oh no, he's been doing this for a while. I didn't realize what I was doing. Oh, thank you very much for the donation, Yankee Tanky Rising. Thank you very much, the wasting times. Okay, so let's see here, huh? Let's take a look at this real quick. Hello, Constance. What you have missed is a incredibly funny debate with the Yankee Tanky, and I highly recommend rewinding the stream and watching it because, oh my God, Constance, this guy, oh my God, he's going to make you go crazy. You have to see this, Constance, please. It's so fucking funny. So wait, what was his, here's from yesterday. Wait, this is all of the logs. Why the hell? 
This is all of the logs. Why, why have you all given me all of the logs? I want only the ones that matter. Tanky Tanky? What's his actual username? The Yankee Tanky. Oh my God. Wait, here he is. Somebody give me the, oh, here, stock Yankee Tanky. Okay, ah, here we go. This is all of the, okay, 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 okay. I see what I did wrong here. All right, let's look through here, my friends. My lovely, lovely imps. Oh, damn it. I just closed my own fucking chat window. Hold on a second. Let's take a look at this. So, oh, here's the August ones. This was just from September. Wait a minute. So his logs, the logs that we read were before this debate. That screaming in chat was before the fucking debate. Oh, no. So let's see which, which ones came from after the debate. The debate was what? Yesterday? Um, oh boy, oh boy. I should be in with Vosh today, just waiting for his email reply to confirm. Yankee Tanky should be in Vosh today, waiting for a confirmation about the time, just waiting for Vosh to reply to the email for today's debate. It is I, the Yankee Tanky. Just a matter of time, Red Phoenix Rising, Yankee Tanky is here to bring Vosh to metaphorical ashes. Fire, fire, fire. I will be live with Vosh around 4 p.m. Yankee Tanky Rising, Red Phoenix Rising, fire, fire, fire. I'm ready, Vosh! Let's do it! Freaking hype! And then he spams the, he says, Yankee Tanky versus Vosh where I win and then he links to it 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 Up here he says yes, I defend the DPRK and I will not stop defending the DPRK Calling all governments you do not like fascists is meaningless. Oh No Wait, sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. I, I, I thought this was from, I didn't realize this was from September. I thought this was from uh, last month. Oh, okay, so these are after the debate. Uh, I'm confused. My bad. I thought this was from July and not August. I may have misspoken, but now I understand. So this was after the debate, and the rest of these were before the debate. Oh, no. Oh, my fucking God, my friend. Now, I might have, I might have a treat for you all, depending. Okay, the September logs were just a few hours ago. Oh my fucking god. September 1st is coming soon. I want you guys soon. to know that it took an overwhelming amount of self-control on my part when he was talking about me sitting at my home streaming to not make jokes about our relative class positions. It took an overwhelming amount of self-control to not really unload on that guy. So and, that was a good uh, move. I, I gotta say Look, hey, good move. Would have it would have been it would have been shitty to do that. I'm really proud of myself. Yeah. That was LARPy as fuck. It's important to understand because like I've done this enough times to recognize it. Like most fascists, that guy believes and also doesn't believe most of what he said. So the problem, obviously, the problem with that convo is that he will just state things that are factually untrue. Anytime, like, a clarifying follow-up is, is pointed, he'll either double down on it or he'll just move to another thing. There's no actual point in a conversation. You leg legitimately might as well argue with the Magic 8-Ball. But as is often the case with people like that, um, he simultaneously does and does not believe the stuff that he's saying. You've probably noticed that before with, like, 4chan-type fascists, where, like, they'll say some obviously ridiculous shit and the extent to which they believe it is kind of determined by how well the comedic element of what they've said goes over. That's why I called him anti-empiricist from the beginning. Oh um, yeah, hold I on. I'm gonna give I, I'm gonna give Vosh the blunt now. Vosh does deserve the blunt. Here we go. And I'm gonna make it bigger. I'm gonna roll Vosh a real nice blunt. Watch this. Look at that. He gets a big one. You deserve it, buddy. That was a hell of a that was a hell of a fucking debate. I think he'd be that bad. Did he ever figure out that you were making fun of him? I think he figured it out at the last bit right there, and that's why he left in that fashion, which was fairly embarrassing. 
I mean, obviously, like, oh man, I don't want to be super mean, but guys, remember when I was going over the Caleb Maupin stuff? And I was like, don't feel too bad for these guys, because even though they're victims of an abusive cult, they're still fascists. I mean, keep in mind, like, this is the, like, this True. is the type of person we're dealing with here. We're dealing with people who, it goes, it's not just they got suckered into the cult. Like, it's a fascist cult. Oh, I oh, okay, real quick. Hold on. I have heard. My lovely imps, I am going to ask you a favor. D are you having fun right now? If you're having fun, then consider that I'm about to make you have even more fun. For I have heard that there was a cope stream. There was a Yankee Tanky cope stream that occurred after this. And if anybody gives me the link, I will also, because you've been so generous and kind, I will also review the cope stream. That's right. If you can find me the link, if anybody can give me the link to it, I will react to it. But if I don't get the link, I don't know where it is because I don't know where this guy fucking posts shit. But I will give you extra content if you help me find the link. Thank you very much, Trans Replicate. This has been the most successful, uh, the most successful maximalism stream to date. Anyway, let's continue listening to this while we wait for the link. Do you deal with people who don't care about the truth or what they say or don't feel ashamed about it? You can't. There's not actually a way. The only, the only thing that you can do with people like that is, um, uh, humiliate and abuse them. That's it. Like, if you're arguing with them, the only thing you can do is make them cry. I know that sounds like, um, overwrought, but it's completely true. Like, if you're arguing with somebody... Not the only thing you can do, but I do think that generally making clowns of horrible fascists and horrible people is a good thing. ...like that. It stops being about the arguments, and it's entirely about, like, bullying them. Uh, because if they, if they, like, get flustered or look weak or whatever... Um, I didn't want to go super hard against that guy because, again, like, he did literally, like, like a week ago... He was in a cult, like an actual proper cult, you know. But like, damn, man. Oh wait, he's not he exactly continues um, after. Ah, uh, I think we may have found it. Of Thank moral you. Character. I Thank guess you. it really does. See. Like, it really does indicate that the only political education these guys have is a collection of talking points about how America is bad and countries that aren't America are good, you know. But that and like that's it. There's no political education outside of that. My mouth actually fell open. Yeah, I, that was pretty bad. That was pretty fucking insane. Basically on the tier of Holocaust denial. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, maybe this can serve as a reinforcement of what I said before. This is what I mean when I say that I actually find it easier to talk with Nazis than I do people like that. First of all, I don't believe there's that much of a like, difference in their ideologies. If you got into like the root of it, he would defend any genocide. Oh, my lovely, lovely imps. My lovely, lovely imps. Do I have a treat for you? While I am not entirely sure that there is a full cope stream, I am happy to tell you that there is a series of cope TikToks and videos, including a series that said that's called Yankee Tanky Destroyed Vosh, Vosh Debate Update. I am debating Vosh, and Vosh is a paper tiger. So we will watch those as soon as we're done hearing Vosh's thoughts about this. This Better sounds ethnic, um, very uh, fun uh, to me. Done this by sounds any of the very states fun. That he defends, you know, Syria, China, India. You know he'd defend Modi. Russia, anything like the the death count, the total death count of like all the stuff that he would defend. Yeah, like um would 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 rack up into the millions easily. Thank yeah, you, so Snack Freak. I've, um, so it's you know obviously just and like the flat moral equivocacy I think there's something there but additionally I'm get your like, on with regards right to away. the Nazis usually they're delusional on like Seems a collection of issues that I'm kind of like um, prepared for like I know the talking point it's you know they have all the same talking points about um, Holocaust denial like the camps yeah. you know they're all like ooh wooden doors swimming pools blah blah I know these talking points um, and you can argue against them point by point not to say they'll listen necessarily but you can. But in his case, I'm sure you guys noticed, that guy is delusional about, like, 80% yes, of all yes. things. You know Trans what I mean? Yep. Like, it's not just a collection of things, it's all things, even remotely affiliated with any of these topics, which makes it, which just makes it very difficult to have a conversation. Oh my god, Vasha just realized I met that guy IRL in New York City, and he was like, you blocked me on Twitter? Huh, wonder why? That's wild. Well, I guess that guy gets outside, um, somewhat then. Do you think that cultist could be turned to our side? Pra no, I, I, I think that guy is as far from a good potential comrade as any person can be. 
I mean that sincerely. I would prefer almost any, like, I, like literally almost any group, any member of any group before I would, like, go to that group right there. Which is why it chafes me so much that they call themselves socialists. The, fa the fact that he said revisionism wasn't a thing, the fact that he said that Marx was, like, incorrect on points of self-determination and, um, and uh, 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 like, democracy being preferable to authoritarianism, yeah, just, oof. Oof, 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 oof. Wild stuff out there. Well, let's not belabor the point too much. It's actually a, um... Oh, yeah, here is the Twitter co-post from him right after the fact. This is what I mean about them not actually believing anything. I mean, it's obviously this guy is susceptible to... Okay, hold on. Everybody, I have to hide this real quick so you guys can see what, what, I'm, what is being seen here. Okay, ready? Look. We are the Red Phoenix. We will rise from the ashes of imperialism to bring order and progress to America. And it is one of the worst photoshopped Oh, God. Oh, no. I told you. I fucking told you. I fucking told you this guy wants to be the next cult leader. Oh. Cult mentality? Because he was literally in a cult. So now I'll he's like I'll go look at the replies mocking, in a minute. Uh, not mocking, sorry. He's um, mimicking um, Infrahaz. Um, so I guess this guy's whole life is going to be him like Frankenstein cobbling together other people's Yeah, I think this is one of the ones we're going to watch. Yeah, um, we're going to watch this But anyway, one like, behavior, behavior like this, um, you know, there's, there's not much to be done uh, outside of... Uh, outside yeah, don't of worry. I'll, I'm going to get all those things. That's going to be great. This tweet confirms he only did it for the clout. With respect, who the f*** cares? He's literally homeless. That's why he filmed that from an alley. He's been open about this. He lives in an abandoned house. He just got out of a cult. I'm in a nice house and I'm rich. Like, what am I going to do? Get mad about that? As far as I... Re remember what I said before about political mental illness? Like, as far as I'm concerned, in a functional sense, he's mentally ill. Like, you can't have politics like that and be well-ordered in the mind. I don't care what anyone has to say about that. I'm right, and I'll die thinking that I'm right on that. So, like, I don't... Like, whatever, man. I get that feeling sometimes from people. I got that feeling from Mel too, where the only like they have so little. Go Again, I disagree with the way the Vosh talks about this particular subject. I think it stretches the value of mental illness, uh, because the fact of reality is that all kinds of mentally well people uh, believe some of the most wildest shit you can possibly imagine. Uh, mental illness is a very poor framework to discuss uh, extremism. Uh, I do agree that there are aspects of mental illness that can inter interact with shit like this. Uh, delusions of grandeur is one of those. But the idea that, like, I, I don't know, I just don't agree with the way that this is... I don't agree with the way that this is framed at all, because I just don't think it's true. Um, I, I think that there's all kinds of people who would never be flagged as mentally ill by any by any like mental health professional that are nonetheless horrific and fucked up people i i don't like i don't really i i, I think that recently i'm going to be completely honest i think recently vosh has kind of um a, like doubled down on one of his worst positions which is the way that he um the way that he talks about mental health. Um, and honestly, it just, it kind of comes off as a ironically irrational fear of madness, um, which is like, I don't know. I would, I would have to construct a better argument than just coming across, like than just going off the cuff. And uh, I, as you can see, I'm not exactly uh, myself uh, super concerned with uh, giving off a hinged appearance most of the time. I'm, I am, after all, doing a madness maximalism stream. Um, but I do think that there's a problem. Um, I just, I do think there's a problem with, like, always conflating mental, mental illness with, uh, like, political extremism. And while I do think that there are some, like, there are some crossovers, there are ways you can talk about it, I think talking about it like this is not accurate or helpful nor does it I, nor does it I, nor is it correct or true because um like i said uh 
there were, you know, extensive, um, I mean, let me just put it this way, uh, really, really shortly, uh, if you, if you want to talk about madness, every single person in our society is, is deeply, deeply ingrained in certain ideologies, sometimes to unbelievable levels. I mean, there are a lot of people in the U.S. military. There are a lot of people who, who are perfectly sane, who are perfectly rational people that are nonetheless convinced to go murder in the name of a country. There are... Uh, in the name of a country that will drop them, that is dropping them, that they, they can witness a country lying to them and still believe that it's right to go kill in the name of that country. And yet many of those people would be considered mentally well. I just think it's a bad framework for discussing this. And it ends up targeting people who are harmless, um, that our society already consider considers mentally ill um, in a non-stigmatized way. Yeah, of course, of course, Foucault, like, talked about this sort of shit extensively, as does Deleuze. But, um, that's a bit of a, yeah. Cycle. Gonna have to agree with Vosh. There's different levels of mental illness. All of us is trying to say, all, all, all of, uh, all of this is trying to say that he doesn't want to shit on the guy after the debate was over. Just listen to his tone. Um, I don't really care about the tone here. I'm just critiquing the argument. I don't think Vosh is like a bad guy or anything like that, obviously. We just had a lot of fun, and I was praising Vosh. And I, in fact, look, if you look on my screen, if you look over there, I gave Vosh a blunt. Isn't that nice? Um, I just think that... I, I... Guys, schizophrenic people get beaten and killed by the cops all the fucking time. Harmless schizophrenic people get beaten, institutionalized, and killed by the cops, thrown in prison all the time. It's not like a like a small issue. This is a huge issue. So like that type, a type of ableism that basically says that like me mental illness is is like the, a prerequisite for extremism, or even that mental illness and extremism are like unique are like uh, uniquely tied. I think that not it, it cheats you of the truth. It cheats you of a better argument to come to that conclusion. A better argument being that we can be convinced sanely and rationally of all kinds of things depending on our ideological uh, presuppositions, depending on our ideological assumptions. And we should be really careful and scrutinize our worldview as much as possible so that we avoid that. Because the reality is, perfectly sane people do monstrous shit daily. Do you think that every, um, do you think that every fucking banker who, um, who, like, uh, kicks people out of their house, who, like, forecloses on family after family after family, do you think that they would, if they were, like, uh, talk to a therapist, that they would get diagnosed with a mental condition? Because I bet they wouldn't. I bet they wouldn't have anything besides maybe, maybe, like, depression or anxiety. You say brain rot. Is that any different than saying somebody is mentally ill, though? Yes, it is. When I talk about brain rot, I talk about people deliberately deluding themselves. I talk about people filling their brain with garbage and then, and then ending up coming to horrible conclusions. Yeah, it is very different. I do recognize that there is some ableist terminology that I use, but I'm not criticizing Vosh on his terminology here. The point that I'm criticizing Vosh on here is the fact that he seems to, like, I mean, do I, do I want to replay this again? He said that uh, you're never going to convince me that this isn't, that you don't need to be severely mentally ill to come to a conclusion, to come to conclusions like this. But the fact of reality is there were tons of not mentally ill people in Soviet Russia, Nazi Germany, and currently in the government of China right now, do, and America right now, doing monstrous things who are not by any definition mentally ill. So again, I just think it's a very, it is a framework that undermines your point and unintentionally does damage. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Rim says, I think it's important to also recognize those ideologies do in fact prey on mentally unwell people. Yes, they victimize them. Yes, they do. Cults victimize mentally unwell people. 
But that doesn't mean that like that doesn't mean that mental el mental illness is a prerequisite for extremism or uh, for fascism. It really, really, genuinely is not. Sophie says, I think it's a harmful way of pathologizing political views and can veer into, into ableism and even eugenicist beliefs. A lot of leftists and civil rights activists were diagnosed as schizophrenic and institutionalized. Yes, that's why we need to be really careful about shit like that. What would you call the people that constantly post in Kiwi Farms? Okay, I do think that a lot of people who post in Kiwi Farms are probably mentally ill. But I'm not making an argument that that mental illness is a prerequisite for those things. Does that make sense? I would call them evil or bad. I would call them perhaps deranged because I use deranged not as a strictly uh, like not as a strictly uh, 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 critique of of like whether or not you have a mental illness or not. Vosh isn't worried about being ableist on stream. Okay, I get that. But again, I'm going to repeat it yet again. I'm going to repeat this one more time. I'm not critiquing Vosh here on him using an ableist term. I have already done that before when I have thought it was relevant. That's not what I'm doing here. I'm saying that the framing, that the argument, that like claiming that, uh, that, a, that mental illness is a prerequisite for coming to conclusions like this, I don't think that's true. I just don't. And also, I think that it, it it needlessly stigmatizes mentally ill people who aren't who by and large don't do any harm. It's just a it's I just don't think it's a good argument. It's that simple. It goes with the religion arguments too. Yeah, it's the same core thing. Can calling them obsessed be considered okay? I mean, I think so. Guys, I'm not super strict about quote unquote ableist language. I don't really care. I mean, yes, I don't really, I do think that there's a very good case to be made that you shouldn't call people retarded, okay? I think that there's a pretty good case to be made about that, yeah? Um, because I think it's a, it's a word that has a, an, inc it's incredibly, uh, culturally charged and it is used to hurt people all the time. So I don't think there's a whole lot of, um, benefits that comes from it. I mean, self-referentially, sure. Just like I believe about the word faggot. I think that faggot is used to hurt people all the time, but I self-referentially call myself a faggot um, all the time, and that's very different. I don't really care that much about terminology. I don't care if people call people crazy or, or, or you know, wacky or whatever most of the time. Um, there are some exceptions to that rule, uh, but uh, what I care about is the argument. I care about an argument that isn't true or an argument that undermines itself. I hope that makes more sense. Bananas. Uh, anyway. I knew that this was going to be something that a lot of people had opinions about uh, the moment that I said it. But again, I'm not, for the record, I know there's probably a lot of people who are going to be like, oh, Demon Mom is canceling Vosh again. No, I just, I have a pretty clear cut argument for why I think this way. Anyway, all right, now, no more bullshit, okay? No more, no more bullshit, no more fucking serious shit. It's time to laugh, okay? We need to laugh. We need to laugh at the Yankee Tanky, okay? Although, the problem is, to do that, I have to move these gifts for a second, okay? Look at this shit. Look at this fucking terrible, terrible, fucking horrible ass fucking thumbnail, okay? This is a terrible, and it is really funny to me that he had to make a fake fat Vosh, and he, he used a picture of him that's clearly from the past, because if we go right back to that video, I'm sorry, but Vosh is clearly less fat than Yankee Tanky. It was very visible. So it is kind of ironic. Um, it was kind of, it is kind of ironic, okay? I'm just gonna say that, all right? Now, we, are, we were gifted a couple of minutes of cope after this. So we're gonna jump to the this end of this conversation. 
Here we go again, okay? We're gonna jump to the end of this. We're gonna hear his spiel again. I'm gonna put the gifts back up on the screen and then we're gonna hear his his coping and then we're gonna check out some of his uh, very interesting TikToks. Agrees with me or not? <laughs> Can you just admit that you've lost this debate? How could I Clearly, lose? I'm American. Thank you to won this debate. The Red Phoenix is rising. We have defeated Vosh. This character can't stand and bring an argument against us. It is clear to me that the Yankee Tanky has won. We are victorious. Solidarity, comrades. Well, it's pretty clear. The Yankee Tanky won that debate. Uh, we have Voshites coping uh, in the Twitter feed. We got, uh, you know, people that are not even the biggest fans of me saying that, uh, uh, that I actually won the debate. People like Null, people like Pan American, um, you know. People like Null? Null? Lots of different folks. People like Null, biggest fans of me, was saying that, uh, uh, that I actually won the debate. People like Noel, people like Pan American, um, you know, lots of different folks that are saying the truth that the Yankee Tanky actually won this fucking debate and that Vosh was destroyed. So with that being said, if Yeah, um Again, again, like I said, uh like I said, this guy, um I think this guy just wants to make the new cult. I think it's pretty clear based on his posts, his his weird sloganeering, the fact that he's got this dark phoenix nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Harriet says, yes, Null of Kiwi Farms was in the YouTube chat for that debate. Oh my god. He's bragging. Oh my. Oh, yeah, he doesn't get the blunt. No blunt for you. I'm giving it back to me. I'm giving the big blunt back to me. Here we go. I'm taking the blunt. He doesn't deserve it. If you want to see start seeing content or keep seeing content like this, you want to support my channel, you want to see me say debate Hassan Piker, for example, uh, you're next, buddy. I'm just letting you know. Uh, well, feel free to send a contribution my way. Uh, you can always uh, send a contribution through PayPal, uh, at the Yankee Tanky, or you can also send me a contribution through Cash App. Uh, which is uh, dollar sign Joey Shantz, S-C-H-A-N-T-Z. Thank you very much, everyone, uh, all of my supporters, all of my haters, uh, and especially you, Vosh. You done fucked up. You never should have debated me. Solidarity, comrades. That is a shocking level. That is a shocking, shocking level of confidence. By the way, uh... I'm going to have to move these for just a second. Once again, I apologize. 392 subscribers and a whopping 213 views. By the way, just so you guys know, I've said this a million times, but um but uh the platforming game is a is a big gamble, okay? Uh and just because you shit your pants on somebody else's stream does not mean that you are going to have success, okay? There have been a number of clout goblins that have appeared lately who have immediately embarrassed themselves because they thought that if they go on a big enough platform and just shit their pants, that that will inevitably lead to them making money. But this guy has not gained any fucking subscribers. Oh, you will get plenty. I'm I'm gonna I'm not getting rid of we're not done with maximalism. I just needed to show you that, okay? We gotta still see this guy's other cope. Alright? So let's see. Let's see what his other thing is, okay? Kyle Kalinsky, the throat goat of Joe Biden. Wait, this was made in the same location. Okay, this is unrelated. We're gonna come back to them. I gotta see this. No, wait, okay. Alright, I'm sorry. First we'll do the cope things and then we'll go from there. All right, let's start with the before. This is from before. It's how the free. Oh, it's official. 4 p.m. I'm debating Vosh. It's hold on a minute. There's a problem here. We can't see shit. 
There's no shit to be seen because all of the gifts are in the way. I don't want to hide the gifts. Hold on, there might be a way to solve this. Maybe I can, hold on. Maybe I can solve this by like moving him like up like this. There we go. There we go. There he is. It's gonna happen. Yankee Tanky rising. Red Phoenix rising. It's time, comrades. Let's bring it to Vosh. It's official. How the freaking okay. band pronouns. Hey. Hey. What the hell's going Wait. on here? What the fuck is this How shit? How the frick do you ban pronouns? Hey! How the frick do you ban? How the frick do you- Stop it! How the frick do you- YouTube's busted! How the frick do you ban pronouns? Fuck you, YouTube. Link. You made a special emote just for nuts? Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? That emote is amazing! 85D2D Derek, what the fuck? This is so good! I'm gonna send this to Fawn to put on the site right away. 85D2D Derek, what the fuck? Hold on, I gotta put it up. Oh my god, it's so good! I fucking love it! Alright, I'm sending this to Fawn ASAP, okay? Don't you worry. We are absolutely getting this onto the website as soon as possible, okay? This is fucking fantastic, okay? Holy shit, this is great. I'm sending it to Fawn. This will be, what do we want, what, what should we call this one? Should we call it, should we call it Dunce? Or Pog U? But nobody knows what Pog U is. We should call it Dunce? I think we should call it Dunce. Yeah, dunce. No, not dunce. No, no, it's dunce. I'm not gonna, I'm not that meme. I'm not that mean. Yes, it was funny that it was directed at nuts, but nuts is unironically not that stupid. Nuts is smarter than like half of you in chat. I know you guys like to, I know you got all, all high on your own supply because I told you to weird champ nuts, but the truth is, nuts is like an intellectual titan compared to most of you. Yeah, you can use it on nuts. I just don't want to be mean, you know? I want to have fun. We'll call it dunce. All right, let's see. Let's see this. Let's get the rest of the cope out of Ladies our Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We defeated Bosch in that debate, and we are victorious. Yankee Tanky rising, Red Phoenix rising. Victory is ours! This is, this is, is, this is unironically, this sounds like you're trying out for, for fucking Red Alert 2, for a part in a Red Alert 2 video. Oh my, oh no. Oh, why do they, why is it like this? My favorite quote from today's debate with Vosh has to be, the victory of Joe Biden was a victory for the working class. <laughs> My favorite. Fucking cringe. Ah. Why does anybody think that a fake laugh like that used unironically will work? Rest well, uh, Lucy. I hope you have a good night. You think he will get an audience now because of that laugh? No. That he posted this. He's got 578 views on a YouTube short the day after. Did you guys see how many views Vosh's video of this got? Hold on. Can I just... Can we just... Uh, Yankee... The Yankee Tanky 
Uh, where where's the original one? Fuck. Yankee Tanky versus Vosh. That's not the one. Hold on. Fuck. I want to show you. Hold on, Vosh. One second. One second. One second. Okay. Here's the debate. 101,000 views since yesterday, and that's not counting the live views. Vosh's video has gotten 101,000. And Yankee Tanky directly tagging Vosh only got 578 views on these. I don't, I don't think he's going anywhere. My victory over Vosh today is only a representation of one of the many victories necessary to take Vosh down. Vosh is like a paper tiger, similar to US imperialism, and we will rip each fang and claw out one by one to take him down. My victory over Vosh. Well, I'll give it to Vosh. He has an uncanny ability to destroy mines. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Does he have more charisma than Maupin? Actually, no. And the reason why is because even though this guy is a little bit more like uh, immediately likable than Maupin, Maupin was a manipulator. And that is a form of charisma. Like being able to interpersonally manipulate people even in a pathetic manner is still a form of charisma. Maupin is at least an egghead academic. He's not really. Well, trans replicate, somehow you managed to get me this fetish image, and I will put it on the stream because you donated. I'm always impressed with your ability to get this fetish image to me. I'm very impressed. give you that much and yeah i know it's a fetish image don't don't you fucking try to lie to me i know that shit is sexual i fucking know it how is that a fetish image listen you know if you know okay you just you just get a feel for these things when you do this business long enough okay you're 22 yo happy birthday did you see the Unruh versus Maupin debate? No, I couldn't handle it. It was, well, actually, wait a minute. No, wait, we did watch that after all. Hold on a second. We did watch that. I just don't know if we watched the whole thing. Hold on. I'm not done making fun of this guy, though. I have no, I have no like for tankies. Uh, so I really want to, I really want to see what this guy has to say about a couple of other topics. Okay. Oh, he's beefing with infrared. Interesting. Okay, here we go. I really want to hear, I really want to hear his thing about Kyle Kalinsky, the throat goat. And then I really want to, I really want to hear about his red flags. Actually, no, first let's do red flags and dating. I really haven't dated anyone since 2019. Uh... You don't say. I've been a communist since 2020, and, you know, dating is complicated as a communist because you see all these red flags, and you're like, oh, I should date that person. It sounds like a good idea. I really... Ah! <laughs> oh, I get it! Oh, I, I get it! It's a joke! He made it... Oh! All right, credit where credit is due. That one was kind of funny. That one, that was kind of funny. It's a little bit pathetic because he's still obsessed with being a communist, but that was a little funny. Okay, come on. There was an attempt. Come on. There was an attempt. You got, come on, credit where credit is due. I did not expect that. I got got, okay? All right, let's find out about Kyle Kalinske, the throat goat. We can build a better society, and we can do it through collective action. We can build a society in which workers do not need to be exploited, and instead can live in prosperity. Political organized. Damn, the crowd was just bumping. 
Oh, you guys can't see this because of the 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 gifts. How am I supposed to make fun of these videos? How am I supposed to make fun of like? Okay, so the gifts don't really work well when I have other things to show you. There's nobody here. There's not a single person. He's talking to nobody. Literally, like one person walks by. Why would you post this? And instead, you live in prosperity. Hey guys, the Yankee Tanky here. So today we're going to be talking about uh, Kyle Kalinske, uh, the throat goat of Dark Brandon himself, uh, praising Joe Biden on his little dumb show, Kyle Crystal and Friends of Crystal Ball, uh, talking about why we need to defend Joe Biden. Um, of course, he was under the caveat that, oh, clearly uh, uh, Joe Biden is actually better than Barack Obama. Uh, but that's a ridiculously dumb standard, considering that both Obama and uh, Biden are effectively imperialists. That's what they are. They are imperialist shills that are attempting to destroy the working class of the United States. And that's just a fact of the situation, right? So one of the things he brought up in that video uh, was the stimulus checks, uh, saying that, you know, Joe Biden deserves credit for giving us the 1400 stimulus check. He provided the caveat that it should have been 2000 like it was promised, but he still gave credibility to the $1,400 that, uh, that uh, Joe Biden uh, gave. I just, I think this guy just has really black and white thinking. Like, I think that's the core of this guy's, I mean, okay, maybe not the core of this guy's issue, but it seems like he's in, incapable of recognizing, like, degrees. Because, like, to, like, Kyle Kalinske is not exactly the most, like, praising person of Joe Biden, so it just seems kind of odd. ...gave to us, right? Well, I don't believe he should get credibility if the basis of the credibility is still a lie. He lied about how much money he was going to give us. So that's just a fact of the situation, right? Um, so, first you have that. Yeah, weren't they Bernie or Busters? talking about how Joe Biden... Uh, you know, cancel student loan debt. The ten Bunny the guy. Dollars. This is something that I vehemently disagree with. In my Left last video, I talked about. Oh, he's covering his he's covering his microphone with his thumb by accident. When he moved the phone, he covered his microphone with his thumb. That's why the audio got so bad. Oh, now, canceling student loan debt and that being the. All right, this is boring. I want to see what is the red phoenix. Let's find out what the red phoenix is. It looks like he's filming this in an empty parking lot. It's the Yankee Tanky here. So, what's the Red Phoenix? I'm sure a lot of folks have been seeing me posting that around Twitter and are rightfully trying to figure out what the fuck is going on, right? Well, the Red Phoenix represents something that the infrared community might be familiar with. It's a vibe shift. Now, a lot of folks are trying to say that I'm trying to recruit and build some sort of new organization. It definitely, definitely... Definitely sounds like that is exactly what you're trying to do. We're not at that stage yet. A lot of people. Oh, oh, he wasn't going to contest it. He was just going to say we're not at that stage yet. Still need oh, to heal from the material oh. conditions that were created through Kale Malvin's. Okay, I no, I no longer feel bad. I no longer feel bad at all. I don't feel bad at all that this guy is getting roasted. He is clearly just going to do the exact same thing to other people that Caleb Maupin did to him and many others and obviously this guy didn't is not the uh, biggest sufferer from the caleb Maupin situation fuck this guy actions and the collapse of the center for political innovation and it's completely understandable but with that being said though that doesn't mean that we shouldn't inspire ourselves and each other to keep going you know i think that's extremely vital you know that's something that's extremely fundamental but there's something more to this vibe shift than just trying to inspire people to keep pushing forward. This, the, one of the big things is that we need to realize that the United States, it has completely different material conditions within the Imperial core than any other, you know. Everybody, I'm here to report the vibe shift is in.
We've gotten an update on the vibe shift. The vibe shift is going to be as follows. Vosh is a neocon, Yankee tanky rising, Red Phoenix rising, China and Russia is based. Fire, 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 fire. China, 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 Russia, Russia, Russia. Vosh is a neocon, Yankee tanky rising, Red Phoenix rising, China, China, China. Flames, flames, China. Shrug emoji. Fuck the CIA. Fuck the CIA. Give me money and I won't get banned. I am literally unstoppable. I am a literal fucking god. That's what the new vibe shift is going to be, everybody. As we can see, it's clearly, you can easily tell that it is not the same thing as, um, as the unhinged ranting of infrared. Uh, all of these people are definitely, uh, they are definitely adhering to an ideology that is leading them correctly. It's leading them to good analysis. They're not just victimizing one another. Just, you know. Existing I, do, I, I do think that uh, it does seem that after the debate, this, of course, is long before the debate. This is from August 22nd. So he clearly wanted to make a cult, but I think that Vosh's debate with him may have been the psychic break. That, that that like sent him sent him into the into the beyond you know socialist or communist card jury right so it's really fundamental for us to understand what the red phoenix represents the red phoenix represents our rise from uh, from the imperialism that we are a part in you know uh, us workers in the united states those are advocating for a socialist or communist government we I don't think you get to consider yourself a worker if you're just, if like your job is, is like helping fucking Caleb Maupin uh, create a spank bank. Uh. We need to fight with the acknowledgement that it's not going to be anything like any other country in the world uh, in, in the context of socialism and communism. The Red Phoenix is a representation of the, the, the American working class rising above the imperialism, the ashes of our, uh, of our prior so system, deep, bro. and the failures and successes Damn, of both. Damn, so... To take what is left oh, of, a, of so deep, the failures bro. and successes of that system, and the ashes created through its destruction, to build a new society. And that is what the Red Phoenix is all about. So... My vibe shift going on in my YouTube channel is a representation of that. You know, we need to be the Red Phoenix, not to just allow ourselves to uh, just accept the way uh, communists and socialists within the West have organized in the past. We need to recognize those material conditions. We are the Red Phoenix. We need to note it. Oh my God, they all do it. All of the Marxist Leninists do the fucking vague bullshit. We aren't going to be like socialist organizations of the past. We need to recognize the material conditions. What does that mean? Tell me what that means. What is it? How are you going to be meaningfully different from the group? Obviously, the answer is it's not going to be any different. He wants to build a spank bank cult just like Caleb Maupin did. Everybody should avoid this motherfucker. Do not join a party that's led by this motherfucker. Do not give this guy any leadership positions. Honestly, the best thing that's, that uh, Yankee Spanky over here could do is uh, honestly... Find a supportive group of friends and, and learn how to live a life where your like politics and your the way that you live your life is a little more integrated. Do some self-care, get some hydration, you know, maybe stay with a friend for a while. Yeah. Sick. Hey, look at that. Yo, look at that. You all see that chat? Take a look at that shit, chat. Hold on, hold on, I gotta refresh chat. Oh shit, it happened. Look at that, we got the new icons. That's right. We have, we have icons for each, uh, it, for each sub subscription role now, and we ch changed to pink. I don't know why it changed to pink, but there we go. The, the lovely, lovely, uh, moderators are now pink. Wait a minute, red? Why are we, ah, oh no! No! We can't have you be red, red is my color! It's okay, we'll tweak this.
Everybody gets a sigil now. Yes, and there are different types of sigils. We'll have to change the um we'll have to change the uh the notable one. Since the notable one uh maybe the notable one can be something different now. But that's all right. What color am I? Test. Hold on, let me see. I'm red. Yeah, we're going to need a different sigil for the content creators. It's all right. We'll work it out. Oh, I'm bright red. Ooh, I look fancy. Bright red is really nice. What are tier four subs? Tier four subs are, I don't know. We haven't found out yet. What color is a tier four sub? Who's a tier four? Somebody subscribe at tier four. Tier four is violet still? Fuck yeah. 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 Tier threes are reds now. You get to be a proper demon. Sick. Damn, that looks so good. That looks so good. People did complain about the light blue. The green is still green, though. Which is good. I like the green. Yeah, Fursifer! Hell yeah, look at that beautiful color! Woo, it looks awesome! That looks so cool. Did we get the dunce in? Did you add the dunce yet? Maybe not. Dunce, let's test it. Not yet. We'll see if it goes in. Well done, Fawn. That's so exciting. Oh yeah, I need to fix this thing here. People like the new colors. I'll try not to sign. I don't want to. I'm not going to sign anybody out. Nobody's getting signed out. Wow, that looks sick. Oh, wow. Oh my god, this has been so much fun. Oh my god. Alright, somebody get a good screenshot of this. Look at this goddamn shit. Look at all of these gifts. Somebody get a good-ass fucking full-screen screenshot of this, alright? Are we keeping content creators orange? Probably, yeah. But I think we're gonna give them a different type- like a different icon. S Snack Freak, you look so nice. Oh yeah, there was something else I wanted to do. Um, oh wait, no wait, that's next stream. Next stream I'm going to do a bunch of media stuff, so that's going to be really fun. Yeah, we got new icons and everything. Yeah, now now being a sub doesn't just have a generic star. Now it has a, a pent pentacle. Why are you pink? Because you're a mod? Pink is the new mod color. Honestly, we should give a we should give mods a like a like a sword or something. Oh my god, no, I haven't watched the Hunter Biden biopic, but I kind of want to. Yeah, we'll probably tweak these just a little bit because I think maybe we'll put like a maybe we'll put like a Chris like a Chris icon as the as the uh, the mod one. Ooh, or a pitchfork. Yeah, pitchfork is a really good idea. Yeah, pitchfork is a really good idea. Juan, you think we could do that at some point for the mods? That'd be great. And then for um for notable creators we could have like a um maybe we'll have like a brain or something or a tentacle or something cool like that or like I don't know I'll think about it What color am I? Me. I am very red and I have a unique icon. I have the brightest red of all. Yeah, a, tent a tentacle would be a good call. Maybe we can get a tentacle for all content creators since they're like reaching out and into the community. Oh no. But the pink is nice, isn't it? Tentacle would be cool. 
the loneliest mod on YouTube. I'm sorry, YouTube has very limited things. My lovely imps, look at this art that we have created today. Look at this art. What a beautiful work of art. I am so proud. Give nuts the chud tag? No! No, I will not give nuts the chud tag. I kind of want to do one more thing, but I don't know what to do. I wonder. Could we do one? Is there any, is there any one more thing? I could do, oh, I could watch the Kit Boga thing with you. All right, all right, everybody. Okay, but that means, yes, we'll do the Kit Boga one. I want to watch the Kit Boga one with you because I, I found the best Kit Boga video and I really want to watch it with you. However, however, before I do that, witness the beauty. Witness the wonder and beauty of the amazing, incredible maximalism stream that we had tonight. First of all, witness it because soon we will, much like a mandala, we will wipe it away and it will be gone. So take your screenshots, feast on the, on the glory and wonder of the fun that we had tonight and ask yourself, did you not have a fucking excellent time? If so, fucking tell your friends about Demon Mama. Fucking share the links when I send them out and keep showing up because I fucking love hanging out with you all, okay? Straight up. No parasocial right now. I love hanging out with my chat.